everybody. It's your boy Kipachi back at again for episode 58 of Kipachi's Room Podcast. This has been a pretty good week for me, I will say. I'm happy to be back, happy to get back on the podcast. A lot of stuff to talk about. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and jump straight into it. So before I get into the topics, I'm gonna introduce my co-host Blitz. Oh How you god, doing, man. You good? What? Well- uh, my opening statement is I just broke my chair. God damn it! Damn, damn. what happened? No, so, I, I was just I was adjusting myself in my chair, and then the, one of the wheels just snapped. God damn it! Damn. Uh, well, I guess I gotta get a new chair now, along with a new shelving. Uh, God uh, damn. <sighs> All right. Well, uh, charging. Yes. Charging what? It's Money. Fuck no. Hey, oh, no. hey, let's go. Get Apparently, all the idiots out there. They had the revenue rip. had a sharp decrease, so, you know, in, in that case, they're going to have to start. How? Ain't nobody looking at advertisements. You know how many ad blockers are out there? Shit, Bruh. They, they, they add the fucking subscription that you're using base about to have Specifically a me, I'm not. Yeah, I feel that, too. I promise you, bro, everybody's hey, going to get off that. Nobody's going to get off that. Will, and, that will, and that will be great. That will be great. That means less stupidity on Twitter. I'm all for it. Pretty much. I, I we, Shep been saying that. it for years. Five bucks a tweet. Five yeah, bucks a tweet. Damn. Should have been charging motherfuckers for Twitter. All the shit you see on there. I, I like it like this though. Like you just. It's, yeah, it's, sometimes it's good, but sometimes they be going too far. Like the the I'm not going I'm not going to go into extremities with it. But the picture with the Glock and the, the stuff oh, on top. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Right yeah. there yeah. should have been. That's the red flag. Lil B. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Another red flag. You know what I'm saying? I block. I block I muted block and reported that nigga with the quickness for that grandma foot pick. Nigga, bro, oh, I'll I fight that nigga. Oh bro. my god. I blocked him actually about numerous years ago. I, jeez. That. Oh my my real opening statement. My mm-hmm. fault. You good? You good? Uh, Doken is probably the best mobile game I've ever touched in my life. Mm. So, <laughs> there we go. Doken. Let me fire up my first. mobile games and get my banners in today. They uh, they just put there's so much content in this game. It's crazy. I low key want to play a gacha game. I might might get into a gacha game. They are fun. You yeah. did. I might get into another. Get back on DOA, mobile. bro. Ah, see. Ah, I don't. I gotta see. Bro, I have I, I have I haven't missed a day since since I got it, bro. I'm telling you. All right, I, I probably should get back into it. Right. Um, I mean, there are probably better ones, but you know, I don't care. Yeah. Um, for our guest though, Mario, how you doing, man? How you feeling? Damn, as soon as I introduce him, they're gonna get muted. What's, what's going on? What? Now you muted him, where'd... so. I don't know where he, I don't know where he went. Rut row. Well. Marmalade, Marmalade. Mario um, is our guest <laughs> for today. Um, I guess he had, had to go handle something, but we can go ahead and get right into it. Hopefully, he'll jump back in. Um, so, who saw the xbox conference because i was i was out early I this did. morning so i, didn't get I saw it in. live i was in the middle of meetings but i wasn't really paying attention to that but so yeah so i was, I was watching it i, I can respect it I can honestly respect i had yeah i had my i had my phone on speakerphone and i had my headset on listening to xbox <laughs> <laughs> um so before we even get into like the games and stuff that we that that y'all guys saw during the showcase um <laughs> What? <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> um, what? What's your overall rating? Because I saw on Twitter a lot of people were saying like it's a like a C, C plus. Was it? That's kind of where I'm at. I'm like at a C minus. C minus. Chef, no, what I'm about a, you? I didn't even uh, watch F? the. the I didn't even watch the conference. And then after what I saw from y'all, and then the list, yeah, I wasn't even gonna waste my time. I mean, to watch it to recap the, on it. The only way a uh, conference gets an F. Or, for me, or like a D or F for me, is if they have like technical issues on top of like them showing shitty stuff. So, yeah, it's a, it's a C minus for me. The, uh, I was looking for them to give some games, and they didn't. So, damn. I mean, technically, they gave out games. It's just nothing was good. <laughs> nothing enjoyable. So, not nah, really. There's only like one or two. Um. So I guess my other question would be, uh, what were some things that you did like from the showcase? Hellblade, Hellblade two, but I, we already knew that was coming. Um, there was this one game called uh, the Gunk. Uh, we can talk about that when we get there, but it's like a like a Mario Sunshine type platformer. It looked interesting. Um, it has that originality that I was looking for 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 uh, Xbox property and. Um, 
even though I may not play this game, I might just watch a let's play. The medium does look interesting. Uh, outside of that, that's a, that was, those are my only three that I actually cared about. Oh, I'm tripping. Outer Worlds, the OC really or announced. So. Yeah, I was about to oh, ask yeah, you about that show. <laughs> we, we thought that game was dead. Really? Why? Why do you think it was dead? It's great. We were just talking about it because yeah. like they just put out the game and then they just didn't do anything else. Yeah, that's why. Mm. That's why it was just the game. Nothing else. We were just talking about that. Never thought DLC would come out for this game. So, do you think they're going to continue to release DLC or or what? I think this is just it. That's it. Dang. That's what I think. That's. I feel like Outer Worlds, even though I haven't played it, I feel like that's a game that could be built upon. Oh, okay. It's it's a lot of stuff you can do in a game. It was it was fun. So are you are you gonna buy the DLC, Chef, or does the DLC look interesting to you? I gotta I gotta buy the game first. Oh yeah, yeah, on Game Pass, didn't you? Yeah, not only had it on Game Pass, I didn't buy uh... the game outright. But um, if I can find a good price for it, I can I'll buy the game because I did enjoy the game. But the DLC, uh, I got to see what it's about. Because if it's just a if it's just another like a story add-on, then I might not be that interested. But I just got to figure out what it's about first before I even really get too excited for it. I can respect it. Um, Mario's back, by the way. Mario. Yo. Sorry, guest from the podcast episode fifty-eight. How you feeling, man? Hey. You all right? You good? Yeah, yeah. All right, all right. Um, did you see the uh Xbox showcase? I did. What'd you think about it? Overall? Yeah. It's better than PlayStation to me. Really? It is? Yeah. yeah. What? 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 What makes you say that? Well, I mean, I I think PlayStation just focused way too much on Spider-Man and shit. Well, this one, they just showed Halo like in the first like what like ten minutes, not even. Mm. And then Did they? I don't. The rest of the games and the last the last announcement was really run one for me. What was the uh, last last announcement? Fable. Ah, oh, okay. You 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 fucking with Fable? I fuck with Fable heavy. Mm. What's That's an OG game? That is an OG. Yeah. I fucks with Fable too. I'm not gonna lie. I've never played Fable. Never heard about it. Y'all got, y'all got, y'all got. Tell me about it. What's, what's so popping about Fable? This, that's one of the games. Like, I just can't. You gotta go research yourself. There's too much shit you can do in that game. Mm. It's too fun. Too fun. In All short, one, one, two, three. One, two, three. In short, for me, it was uh the choices you make actually, actually showed. Mm. That was like something. Yeah, I mean, I played Mass Effect world. two before, but that Fable. What I don't forget what Fable that was. Like the choices you did actually showed throughout the game. So that was nice to see. That what you were doing actually mattered. Yo, in Fable 2, that's all about the come up, the struggle. <laughs> Fable 2, <laughs> yo, Fable 2's plot, that's hysterical now I think about it. I always seen Fable around, but I never was really interested in it. And the combat wasn't that bad either, so. The combat's mad fun, yeah. Let's see if like I can. The, the more you use a, t- a combat style, like the more like it augments. Let's so, like, see you some more. Some 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 you're upgraded. You're not going to get anything from that trailer. It's just cinematic. Come You're not going to get any on, gameplay. Damn. That's the other thing, too, um, why it kind of gets a low grade from me. Does, I don't think Microsoft understands what the meaning of gameplay is. Because they keep showing CG trailers and in-game engine footage. Like That's not what gameplay means, guys. The only thing that actually had game, they actually had gameplay for was Halo. And honestly, like, I know we're showing Fable right now, but I kind of want to start with that Halo Infinite gameplay. Bruh, if if that's I, next if that's next gen Halo, that's fucking. I'ma get it. I'ma get it. I'ma get it. Fable or Halo? The Halo. I'm liking really? it. Really? I'm liking it. Really? I'm liking it a lot. I'm not gonna lie. Wow. What what did you what did you like about it? What did you what did you? I, I like watched two different conferences. I, I don't know what, <laughs> what you saw. Okay. Um. Well, first, I kind of like the, I guess the story or the dynamic now of how like they lost the war. They kind of lost the war. Um, Master Chief is operating solely on his own with this new this new person. I don't know, just some regular human. Um, and then also like the shooting mechanic, and it's like it just looks cleaner than other Halo games, and I like that a lot. Um, it looks boring to me, bro. I'm not gonna lie. It looks very lackluster. I don't know. I I like even it. from I a like graphical a standpoint. Even from a graphical standpoint, this looks like it's running on a current gen Xbox One. This is next gen Halo. Really? This is, it does not look that impressive to me at all. I'm now when I say it, I'm not like gassing it, but it looks fine to me, honestly. I'm 
I'm completely fine. Yeah, it look it looks fine, but like it does not look like what's to be expected from the next generation of like of gaming. That's because this is what these consoles are supposed to represent, right? Mm -hmm. This does not look like next gen gameplay to me. This looks very lackluster, very uninspiring. Well, what are what are some of the things that I guess kind of turned you off from Halo or this Halo? Uh, I just don't think it aged very well. I, I don't. I'm not really. A fan. I remember when we played. Uh, we played Reach when the I was part of the Master Chief Collection when that came out like a few months ago. Mm -hmm. I, I feel like that didn't really age well. Um, I've only played the first Halo way back when, and number one, I didn't really care for the narrative. Um, it was fun. I just I just didn't find the gameplay all that engaging. I know a lot of people stuck stuck with Halo because the multiplayer. I didn't have an Xbox growing up like that, so. Um, I mean, I don't have a lot of experience with Halo multiplayer. And then when we played Reach a few months ago, and I was like, yeah, this is what <laughs> people were so hyped for back yeah. in the day. So I don't know. It just looked like I feel like Destiny 2 looks better than this in terms of like, God, playing gameplay. God damn. That's, tough. That's, That's tough. funny. I, as hell. This looks this does not. I don't it, it does not look all that. It does I, not look I, engaging I to me at all. I, I don't know about that one. <laughs> I was yeah. like, Destiny? God damn. I fucking hate Destiny. <laughs> Um, yeah, I just, I mean, that's fine. I just don't see what, this does not look special at all to me. I can, I can respect it. Um, I guess, Chef, did, were you, what, what's oh, your grappling on? I forgot about that. Grappling looks nice, I guess. Yeah, that's, I don't, that's something else I liked about it, that they're trying to implement new stuff into the game, just mechanic-wise. Um, but Chef, what was something that you didn't like or liked from the Halo Infinite gameplay? Uh, there's not much I didn't like. I actually, I liked what I see. I mean, I liked what I saw for mm -hmm. what I'm seeing. Also, mm -hmm. seems like the uh, the gunplay is getting ten times better. Mm -hmm. Like a uh, not running gun, but it's more. It, it seems like it's more easy to access a weapon. Mm -hmm. Just how like, like, yeah, they look like they're more uh, they're more effective in the way because Halo guns are usually kind of just generic as fuck. Mm -hmm. But these guns these, actually look like they have some type of purpose to them. These don't look generic to you? They look generic to me. Nah, um, not this one showing the pistol. Yeah, the purple gun he just picked up. Yeah, um, it was a vector looking one. That's a new looking weapon. I haven't played like the last, what Halo is this considered? Seven? Six? Uh, six? Yeah. What the hell was the last one I played then? Halo 5 Guardians is the last one. 5 Guardians? What is Reach? That's uh, one. It's a spinoff, isn't it? I ain't even played that one. No, I played ODST. That was the last one I played. ODST is before Reach. Okay, yeah. The ODST is the last one uh, Halo I played, so I'm not really like a, a Halo fan, so none of this is really doesn't really matter to me because I'm not playing the game. I'm not going to pick the game up anyway, but I mean, what I'm seeing, it doesn't disappoint me, but it's like, it's just Halo. I can respect it. Um, <clears throat> Mario? What's, what are some of the things that you like from the, the Halo Infinite gameplay? Well, uh, I don't like anything. Let's start off with that. I can respect it. Uh, <laughs> so, I would, I would relate this experience I had today to kind of like having like a crackhead son. And then like, <laughs> what? You get that phone call at 2am that they got him at the jail again and you gotta go pick him up. <laughs> it's just like, yo, why are you here, bro? Like, what? you a fuck up. Like, Halo is the crackhead son. Not, oh my like, they god! Just, they, taking, they keep taking Halo, and they just find a way to fuck it up even even way more more worse and worse every game they make. Like now it's open world. This isn't Halo. That's open world. Halo was never open world. That's open world. They got upgrades. Halo never had upgrades. They're making this like a single player game. I don't know what the fuck going on. Does, and like I said, does that not scream destiny to you? And also, and also, uh, and also, it does not scream destiny to me because it screams battle royale to me. It screams Apex because Apex got that same shit, and that's an open, wide open map. And I know they got them low graphics so they can process all them players. I know exactly that's what they're planning to do. It's gonna be all battle royale. Watch. If they do battle royale, bro, I'm that's what's hot really right now. upset. I'm gonna be so upset. They that's don't need oh, to though. I did see that they uh plan on using this game. This this is some shit that I've never thought I would hear from a developer. They plan on using this game for a long time, meaning they'll upgrade it. Like if they was to release a new Halo, it'll just be with this game. You know how 2K and FIFA and Madden comes out with some dumb shit every year. Mm -hmm. 
they plan I guess they plan on using Halo as a as a way of upgrades instead of people having to buy new games they'll just upgrade it. At least that's what I read. And I can't remember that what is, the article was from, but that is the first time I heard that. I was like, no, I would rather have that than rebuying uh, games every year. Yeah, see, the only reason I don't fuck with that is like the as uh, a modern warfare type situation where you got one game that's just over 200 gigabytes of just nonsense. Oh, yeah. Look at Grandpa that's, Thanos, that's, yo. That's the only thing I can think of when it comes he do to that. Look like I do, Grandpa I do, Thanos. I do think that like if they feel like they don't have to release a game every year, especially with sports games, I wouldn't be mad if a sports game did every like two or three years. Right. Yeah. So I think I think every year is overplayed. Yeah. Sure. I mean, like like this new Madden. I'm not buying this new Madden. Absolutely not. Jesus. No, but I was like surprised to see that the developer said that. I'm like, I thought they would never. See, that's the same thing though. Destiny I think been trying, upgrading that one game for like what, what is this I like think, I think they're trying to take the, I think yeah, they're trying to take they the have a, approach. They have a um a ten year roadmap, so they they're gonna be in there for the long run. Which I really I I kind of uh, I don't I feel like Halo isn't really the game to do that with just because it's so old. Now it's definitely gonna not. it's like it's, definitely not. it's gonna be like all right like you just releasing like some you're not, old you're not dusty get, ass game you're not gonna really get any new players with halo and everyone who plays halo knows what, what to expect from halo so changing up the formula is not gonna serve anybody well right because they're like it's if, just, if, if all the new players if all the new players I'm... turn out loving halo and they're like oh man let me go play the old ones let me see what they was like it's gonna be nothing like that yeah <laughs> right it's gonna it's gonna piss them off and then you're gonna exactly. piss off the old heads exactly that's, this is what i'm with saying as, as a halo fan i see this is a lose-lose situation yeah, that's why what I was looking at did not look inspiring at all. It's just like, <laughs> why is this even here? And this is the title that Xbox is hitching their wagon to. This is supposed to be the console seller. Infinite. They didn't even announce Gears or nothing either. <laughs> they just said Halo. Halo, son. That's it. See, I would have got excited for a Gears announcement because Gears 5 was actually good. Gears 5 Jesus, looks better them, than this. Like... Some, of them, some of them timed console launches, though. They might help them out a little bit. We're going to see. Not for me though, personally not for me, but I'll wait. <laughs> I'll wait my time. Yeah, cause not... yeah, like I mean, you have to talk to Halo super fans, Nightshade and uh, and Wolf, because even Wolf said he was conflicted about this. It's just like I, I don't know. It's just it's not, it does not look. It looks very lackluster. I don't know, bro. I like it a lot. I'm. I I, I just don't see it. Then we just have to agree and disagree. I don't see anything I, there I, to I, like about this. I can respect it. I can respect it. It better not be sixty. This looks like a thirty dollars. If it's game sixty, best. that's gonna be kind of wild. That's what I don't I'm saying. Think it should it's be sixty. Like, of course, it's gonna be sixty. Course, yeah, this this is a this is a thirty dollars. This is a thirty dollar game. Well, based oh, on what I'm looking at, charging sixty for this. Yeah, 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 I know they are, but this is a thirty. This is a thirty dollar value from what I'm, I'm saying. Why why don't you think why don't you think they didn't show multiplayer yet? Because it's gonna be a battle royale and they're still developing that shit. Watch, I'm trying. I'm telling you. If they really, if it was Halo, they would have shown multiplayer off rip. If they really make this a battle royale, I'm gonna be really upset. I'm gonna be really upset. Yeah, and the more I think about it, Mario's probably right. They're probably will introduce a BR mode at some point. Be tragic. Mm -hmm. but, but like they'll have the standard Halo multiplayer maps and modes, but then they're gonna exactly. push the BR heavy. They're gonna push the BR heavy. Honestly, I would at least no, try it. I would try it. Like, I, now, I don't know if any of y'all were around for this, but uh, when ODST came out, they tried to push Firefight real heavy over like campaign and shit and multiplayer. And that didn't happen very well either. That's why it only got like ported like kind of to reach, and no one ever played it. Mm. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Firefight was the first game mode in ODST. That was the big thing. I think. Um... Yeah, I, this game does not look special at all to me. So I, I, that's really not much else I can say about it. I hope y'all have fun with it, though. I mean, yeah, I I can't even say anything much about it it's just i just like the kind of new look that they put on it but i can see the other stuff that y'all you guys are talking about. i don't see i don't see nothing new what new look all uh, right um yeah but yeah yeah. yeah yeah we can talk circles about it but yeah it is what it is all right um so next game is anyone interested in state of decay nope nope the trailer was nice though I didn't know what was going on at first. The trailer looked like, nice. Y'all like the trailer? No, I, I, thought, the trailer, I, I thought the trailer was okay. Like, at, I thought just, the trailer just, was fuck, uh, for a hunting game. <laughs> I was like, what's yeah, going on That's here? what I'm saying. It had me interested for a little bit, so it, the trailer did its job there. 
No, that trailer was whack so, to me. So it looked interesting. Like, it had my attention. I was like, okay, what is this about to be about? And then I saw Stain at the camp. I'm like, ugh. <laughs> so. Once again, that's like y'all can have that. Yeah. I, um, good. Y'all, y'all good on it? Y'all just not yeah, gonna play the trailer either? <laughs> I, I don't even want to, like, touch this shit. For real, for real. I, don't know. I can tell you what happens in the trailer. <laughs> like, yeah, like, we, gonna, we gonna skip through the trailer. So she making an arrow. Head. You know, she's screaming at a wolf. She pull up on a deer. Also, yeah, I had a big problem with that part, too. I don't it, know if y'all know anything about this, but if you scream at a wolf, I guarantee you that motherfucker ain't gonna run away. No. He gonna come at ah, you. Ah, I don't think... I mean, go well, if, if, you, if, you, if it's alone... Did you hear though? If hey, it's Bobby, alone... Have you, been have you ever been hunting? No. Ask me. But... <laughs> <laughs> I feel like if the wolf is alone, there's gonna be a greater chance he's gonna run away. You can feel whatever you want, but that's the thing: wolves don't travel alone. <laughs> they don't. But then did you she's, hear how she screamed. Then that she's, wasn't a normal she, scream. She messed, yeah, she. I don't know what was in her, but no, she I'm was. Just saying, that's not realistic at all. That shit would never happen. I like how we're talking more about like the trailer than the actual game. So. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, oh, what? No okay, what? What is State of Decay about, for real? Zombie. It's just a zombie, it's a zombie game. game. Yeah, I don't care. Well, I all right, that's how we need to know. Zombie game, so. yep. Um, Forza. I know nobody gonna be talking about that. Um, there was Forza there. Yeah, yeah. Forza Motorsport. For Forza ain't even a racing game no more. It's just a graphics what? demo. It's whatever. It's a graphics benchmark. Yeah, Wolf liked it. All yeah. Right, next. Also, also <laughs> another, another problem I have. They're just calling it Forza Motorsport again with these fucking names. Like it's gonna be the third Forza Motorsport one. <laughs> really? Oh, they really? Okay, they keep renaming it to the first one. So what is yes. it? Forza Motorsport 3, technically? Forza Motorsport 1-3. One, 1-3. Three. <laughs> one, three. <laughs> oh, boy. Some bullshit. Honestly? The most graphically impressive game. Shout out PlayStation. Yeah, PlayStation. that's what I was about to say. I was like, the graphics look really nice, but... Yeah, I don't know what it is about Microsoft and them not being able to name stuff. Shout out PlayStation. They make it nice and easy. <laughs> Um, alright, so Bill Spencer, please. Everwild, did we did we see this? Uh yeah, it's by Rare. Um it's about I think it's like a honestly, someone in someone on Twitter's had it perfectly. It's called you know you heard of Monster Hunter? Mm -hmm. This game is Monster Helper. <laughs> you like you like use magic to get become one with nature and shit. I can respect this game. Yeah, it's a cute concept, but not for me, so yeah. That's how I feel. I feel I like I would have to see some gameplay because like I don't even yeah. I don't even know what like the Are y'all just helping animals? Like I don't I don't understand. Something like that. I don't know. They didn't really they talked a little bit about it, but but when they were talking I wasn't really paying attention. So mm -hmm. but yeah, this is about like, becoming one with nature and all that kind of stuff. So It's by Rare though, because Rare's a good company. They usually make good stuff, but you know what we really want Rare? Banjo Kazooie three. Please. <laughs> They, you know they know. A Conquer's that. Bad Fur Day sequel. How about that? You know? I'd be okay with that. I think, um... I don't know. This game look Yo, so Conquer's different. Yo, if Conquer's Bad Fur today, <laughs> in this social climate... Oh it, would n it would not fly. You know how much stuff they'd have to neuter in that game? <laughs> if, like, imagine if Conquer's Bad Fur Day came, what was coming out like later today, later, later this year. You know how much stuff they'd have to neuter? Oh my god, it wouldn't be the same game. Yeah. Right. But, Tragic, uh, yo. Yeah, that's everyone. Go back and play Conquer's Bad Fur Day if you ever get the opportunity. That game is different. Oh, it's oh, it's storming, storming. All right. Um. Tell me why. What? I want to tell him to shut up. Did Did anyone I see know, uh, the the, the Tell Me Why? <laughs> uh, no, you don't need to. No, it's nope. it's uh, like a nope. uh, no, you don't need to. It's no. Is it I like a? It's What's... like Life is Strange. Honestly. Okay, I was just about to say. All right. Um, Ori and the Will of the Wisp. I want to get that game, but this I mean, this is a remaster. They're gonna it's 4K 60 uh, frame enhanced for Xbox Series X for a game that came out like three months ago. Uh, I want to get that game, but I mean it's not. The I can't game really looks much at all. nice. Yeah. I haven't played the first one yet. I have the first one, but I just haven't made time to play it. It, it's really fun, but yeah, it's just a 4K remaster. <laughs> so, uh, nothing, nothing special. Nothing really much else to say. Um, I do want to play it though. 
it looks fun i'm i hope eventually i can get it because i do want to get my hands on it i need yeah. I, I feel like that's a game that i really haven't even yeah do you like uh, metroidvania like platfire platformers i haven't played them but i would be interested in it yeah i think i think you would enjoy it similar to uh indivisible mm. so say less than say less i definitely keep my eye on that um all right the outer worlds dc uh dlc B chef okay. yeah <laughs> what you think about it chef uh i just saw the trailer actually for the first time um, oh, okay i'm seeing that they add new weapons if they got that fallout vibe to it mm. but of course obsidian may fall out new vegas so uh it would only be natural to see some some elements in it yeah because th this trailer looks like a fallout uh trailer yeah with the way they look how how old school it is it looks like it's gonna, it may be a fun DLC. I just I just need them to up the difficulty. Cause I can't remember. I don't know if I was playing on. I w it wasn't the hardest difficulty, but it was probably one below it. But once you get your character, once you get the character that you have upgraded, it's a cakewalk going through anything. I'm talking. I was I was shooting people once and they was dying. Damn. Mm. I just need difficulty to be increased in this game. Cause it looks it's it's a fun game. And then they I see they got new weapons coming in. I assume the combat won't change. It's just new weapons coming in, but if they can up the difficulty a little bit, it'll be a better game. I can respect it. Because if the it. game is a cakewalk, then I just, that's when I start losing interest. Like, I'm just bull rushing through everybody. Um, what were some. $14.99, by the way. $14.99. $14.99? Well, that's yeah, like. Game is on sale at a good price. I will copy it so I can own it, and then I will get the DLC. Um, now. You said things that you liked about the game. What were, what were what are some things that you not necessarily didn't like or you had a problem with from the trailer to new DLC? Uh, wait. You want me to say what I liked overall about the whole like the whole game or just no nah, like what what, what did you just... dislike? What did you dislike about from what you saw? Oh, from what I saw? Oh, not yeah. too much. Okay. So. Nothing at all. You didn't see anything that was changed or anything like that. Like, what do you think of the the new weapons and that they're introducing for the DLC? I see they got melee weapons in here because the melee weapons are actually fun. Mm -hmm. Um, like that one with the the flames on the side of it. That looked like a fun melee weapon to use, even though it already looks OP. Mm -hmm. It's another thing about the game: the melee can get very, very easy to use. It's not it's not intriguing melee. It's just swinging shit and then they're dead. Damn. So it's not like <laughs> they taking a couple hits. There is no tanking in this game. You the tank, but you, but they not tanking anything. Mm. I, um, I can respect it. I can respect it. But I didn't see anything I disliked about the trailer. Mm. I just want them to increase that difficulty. Oh, and give us some companions that actually do something. Provided didn't do nothing. It, she was the only one I, I rode with. Oh, everybody else I left on the bench. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all can y'all can stay on the ship. I'm gonna go out here with Provardi and uh, Sam, the robot, the robotic uh, companion you can have. I used him. Hmm. Cause they all got perks and stuff that you can add to your arsenal. But other than that, some of the companions just wasn't worth having. I respect. That's if they add more companions to the DLC, which I doubt. But you never know. Um, Blitz, what'd you think of uh, the the new DLC? Uh, I didn't play Outer Worlds, so I really can't say much about it mm -hmm. so. now seeing this DLC would it make you get into the game eh, not really nah still nah. not still not really catching your eye nah what's not what is something that's kind of like holding you back from it uh just not my type of game um number one how short the base game was is kind of a turn off to me um mm -hmm. Like, there was so much potential for it to be a lot more expansive and a lot more immersive, and then it, it just didn't do it. Like, you know how I, exp uh, how I described it last week, how it's like uh, a rivalry game in the NBA was like Lakers-Celtics, and it, like it's a shootout in the first half, they all go into the locker room, and then they just don't come back out for the second half? Mm -hmm. That's what Outer Worlds is. <laughs> so. Alright. So, um... yeah. But, but it's, it's, it's not a bad game by any means. It's hey, just yo, not something I'm Side note, in. but y'all y'all see the gray and LeBron's beard? Sophisticated. He about to win a championship. I'm telling you. <laughs> <All right. laughs> if the season gets that far. 
Mario, so did you uh, did you peep the uh, DLC? Or did are you have you even played a uh, Outer Worlds before? I have. What do you think about the uh, DLC that that they showed? I mean, it looked cool. I I, I, I caught the game and stuff but if it's on sale for cheap, but I'm not really looking to play it right now. Cause I got a lot of stuff. I gotta prepare myself for Cyberpunk. I respect it. I respect it. Speaking sure. of which, there's been some little nuggets here and there about updates about that. I thought about putting it on the on the show sheet, but I mean, I want to. I well, kind of wanted to wait until it's actually definitive and not just coming from like YouTube and stuff. Yeah. What were some of like the updates that they were talking? About? Uh, the world map. Um, they were talking about some of the customization options. Oh, here's some unfortunate news. Speaking of customization, um, no, no, uh, voice change, no voice pitch changer in the game. So oh yeah, I saw that. The voice you get is the voice you get, unfortunately. Damn. That's Not the so worst awesome. thing in the world, but okay. Yeah. Um, but yeah, other than that, they were like, Cyberpunk, they've been putting, um, like, Lord lore bites on their Twitter page and stuff, like talking about the different uh, districts and stuff. It's really dope. Like, I don't know if you've seen some of the, like, the concept art and the artwork for it. This shit is fire. What's some of like, the uh, like, artwork for it? Or the, like, go to, the roadmap? Um, yeah, like, not the roadmap, but like um, the artwork of some of the districts. Like, if you go on Cyberpunk's Twitter and they, like I said, they've been doing like lore bites on different, yep, uh, I've been those. different parts of the city and they have like artwork that accompanies it. It looks freaking unbelievable. So. I might have to peep them, cause I I think I saw when they tweeted the I think the first time they tweeted like the different regions and they showed some concept art for it. Um, I think I saw that, but that was, I think it was like the only concept art I really saw for like city and um, the different regions that they have. But I did see the map. The map is pretty big. I'm not gonna lie. They say, um, God, what did they say? I think someone compared it as like two times bigger than GTA Five. That's, that's a nice claimed. size map. That's that is a claimed. nice size map. I don't know if that's true. I don't know. If oh, I'm happy now. Claimed. I'm that's really happy now. Two times the Cyberpunk's map is supposedly, allegedly, two times bigger than GTA Five. If you add up all the districts in Night City and the Badlands, it's bigger than GTA. That, that makes me really happy. For a year, <laughs> bro. That Damn, makes bro, me so mean, happy, bro. We not coming back to this mug for Take me. it with a grain of salt. I don't know if that's true because we didn't hear that from TD Project Red specifically. But yeah, if that's true, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna be in that Japanese impressive. district all the time, boy. Goddamn, I'm gonna be at the shrine. All right. Um, so. I know, I know for a fact, y'all don't care about Grounded. Uh, is that the ant game? Where I fight bugs and shit? I believe so. Survive the yard. Honest, yeah, this looks like Fortnite Junior. Yeah, I'm gonna see ahead. how they was building shit. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this shit off then. It's Fortnite Junior. <laughs> Niggas fighting bugs? Yeah, I'm. Uh, yeah, it's, it's... it, it looks like Fortnite Junior, bro. Honestly. Nah. Ah. <laughs> Never know. It, it, could, it could be interesting. It could be nice. It's unique. I'll give. It. I'll give. No, I don't have a problem with it either. It, it's unique. You know, it's a different IP, a new IP. Um, I'm just not sure if I'll be all that invested in it. But you know, it, it might be something. You know what? Like, I'll probably give it a try. Depending, that's like, that's if, if, it, if, it, if it's like, free to play or something like that, or if it's like cheap for like kids. Yeah, I mean. It might be a good troll game or something like that. Honestly, you know what this game is? It's probably one of those games that I'll be watching uh, the VTubers play. And I'll get into that later. Uh, oh, God. One of those. Oh, the VTubers. Okay. I see what you. I see what, I see what this is about. <laughs> yeah, but other than that, yeah, it does look like Fortnite Jr. From what I'm seeing, I kind of I kind of like it. I can, Points I for originality. No, I don't hate it. It's just, it's, again, it's just not for me. I was like... Uh. You know what? Even, yeah, even I'm, I'm probably know, gonna yeah, play they the game. For Cyberpunk too. See, they even made a joke in the trailer, like, "Yeah, well, you already know. Everybody hyped for Cyberpunk. We're hyped for Cyberpunk. We already know." <laughs> we, just, we just releasing this. <laughs> we just <laughs> releasing <laughs> this this <laughs> slight <laughs> ass game. Yeah, I, you know what? Yeah, yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna play this. I'm gonna play it now. It better not be no damn sixty, but nah. Maybe like thirty at the absolute most. Yeah, if it's sixty, then we got problems. Bro. If it's free to play, then yeah, sure, I'll give it a run. Oh yeah, most definitely. Um, did anyone else have anything to say about uh, grounded? Nah, I think that's it. Pretty simple. All free right. Kanye. 
Damn. Mm. I'm ready to keep him under lock and key for a minute. That nigga need help. He need to talk to a therapist. I don't therapist. know where he gonna get it. I don't know where he gonna get it from. That's the thing. He need to talk to a therapist. He not getting Man. it from his family. I'll tell you that. Yeah. Um. All right. So, avowed. Solid games. I can respect them for that. I can really respect them for that. And honestly, no, I do need. To, I do need to see more. They showed like a tiny bit of gameplay, and yeah, like, even then it looked like just like in-game engine footage. That's what it looked like. I don't know. If, it's not. I don't know if it's actual gameplay. Um, but it's possible. It might. It might. It might be. You know, solid. So I got to see more though. I got to see a lot more. Hey, yo, the Lakers down five in the fourth. What happened? <laughs> oh my god! Oh man! All right. Yeah, this um, looks like this looks like Skyrim. That's what they it said. It's looking to be the, the new Elder Scrolls like experience. I thought this was Elden Ring or whatever that shit was. Uh, people are still yeah, hyped I'm, I'm kind of hyped for that game. I'm not gonna lie to you. Yeah, but this looks like Skyrim. It's like a yeah first person RPG. So yeah. Because because they, they know Bethesda gonna fuck up the next Elder Scrolls. So they'll be like, I got we got y'all. Don't worry. <laughs> I, I know that's exactly what this is. That's why I'm copping. Hopefully the combat is the melee combat for this game isn't like uh, Outer Worlds. I will have to see more gameplay, but I'm definitely liking the idea the magic behind system, it. Though? Shit. I mean, a it bruh, looks interesting. I just it, got, yeah, it looks got really more. interesting. Yeah. No release date or anything, so yeah, who knows how far off it is? Damn. Yeah, this. But yeah. Yeah, I'm definitely interested. It definitely caught my eye. So, hopefully, we'll be able to see some in the future about this game. Hopefully, I won't <laughs> ride the ride the bench like some other games we were looking at. Um, did anyone have anything to say about Avowed? Yeah, that was just got it. It looks interesting. Just got to see more. Respect, respect, respect. Um, as Death Falls, that's another Life is Strange uh, right. type of game. Not, yeah, basically. Uh, Psychonauts 2. Uh, I know it has a cult following, and it's a cult classic. I'm not interested. Uh, but it has Jack Black doing part of the soundtrack, so that's cool. Joe! That might be nice. That might be nice. Um, Damn, just Jack Black, not even uh, Cal Gas? Uh, I'm trying to see Tenacious D get back to you. Wait, Howard got pink tips. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> You can tell how great the Xbox showcase was and Mario looking at basketball. <laughs> what is uh what is Psychonauts hey man, like, really about? I haven't played in about five months, so I gotta watch. That's fine. Uh, I I mean I don't I don't don't really know much about Psychonauts. <laughs> I like I said, I know it's a cult classic platformer type game. Um I think about, like all the different levels is like different people's like inside different people's brains and shit, so it's gonna yeah, be consciousness is that's it's, cool. gonna, it's gonna be wild. It's a good concept. It's just yeah, it's I just never played it. Supposed to be about it. like transversing like realities and consciousness and shit. That's, why that's so a trippy. lot of stuff to look at. Oh god. Yeah, I that's mean, it's, it, that's why it was so trippy. It feels what I'm looking for with the color palette and stuff. Like it's a bright, colorful game. So mm. that's what I always be talking about. Um, but yeah, I just I just don't know too much about it because I, I never played the original one. So. Hey, this might be the game that you're looking for though. Like you like you were saying, you need Possibly. some you need some more more fun to play. Just colorful, not so hyper realistic now I, I do remember watching uh, uh remember gameplay from the first one i don't think the first one was ever this trippy this one looks like Yo, yeah it this looks like it's a seizure. serious trip yeah <laughs> yeah hoping nobody got epilepsy I, are these people like high because well, that might, isn't that part of it whose consciousness is like this on the regular it looks fun though it looks really fun i'm getting a headache looking at it though um <laughs> But did did that catch any of you guys' eyes or? Nah, I mean, it's, it look, I, I know it's good. So, shout people who wanted it, but it's yeah, not for me. I just happy for the people who've been looking for it. But yeah, it's probably probably not gonna be for me. All right. Um. So, we Hellblade got... Two didn't show shit. They just said, hey, the story's gonna be the game's gonna take place in Iceland, and then they left. Damn. But all right, that's great. But where the gameplay at? They ain't ready, bruh. They ain't ready for it. But at the end, but at, at the end, in Iceland. <laughs> <laughs> but at the same time, I trust Ninja Theory because Hellblade One was such a good game. I trust them to deliver good, a good product. Mm. Um, I just want to see a little. I just want to get a little bit more of a taste. We are proud to announce. 
That's literally what they did. They said, we are proud to announce the game is taking place in Iceland. Like, we like okay. Iceland <laughs> then, yeah, they, yeah, they said, we went to Iceland. We were, we were on we were on site to, uh, you know, get some inspiration for the game and, you know, take a lot of the stuff that we put in the game is going to be inspired by real life Iceland and stuff. Okay, bye. And then I was like, <laughs> all right, like, can we just get a sneak peek of what y'all took all from right, the country Iceland. and put it in the game? <laughs> like, all right. But yeah, hopefully we see more of that soon. This Beyond <laughs> Light trailer. Oh yeah, Destiny 2. Um, yeah, all the the base game and their first few expansions are gonna come into Xbox Game Pass. Yuck! They really want niggas to play this game. Please play this shit. Please. Cause <laughs> honestly, it's been falling off because there there's been a massive surge of like hackers to the multiplayer really? of it. Yeah, that's why I heard uh, from Nightshade at least. Uh, I really want to get back on the game, but. I'm not gonna get on the game if everybody's yeah, hacking. Everybody's but hacking. honestly, this uh, I'm I don't know. These new like mechanics they don't look that like that interesting to me. But here's the thing though, like I don't want to bring Halo back up, but this looks more engaging than Halo, even though like I don't care for either. But this has more pop to it. I don't know. Maybe maybe that gameplay they showed of Halo Infinite just did wasn't was a bad example because everything just looks so dry. This at least has some pop to it. Yeah. I think, um, I um, yeah, I, I feel like I would have to watch somebody else play it before I can even, before I even would try to get the game or try to get the, the Beyond Light 2. Because what is this? Is a, is a DLC or expansion? Yeah, this yeah, is, is expansion. I think this All is right. the first new expansion that's coming after Shadow Keep. They need oh. to. I really want my money back because I bought Destiny 2 base game at sixty dollars way back when it launched. I wanted to get, I wanted to give it a try. I was That's like, why you know I what? Like talking about that game, so every time I talk about, it, I think about the sixty dollars I spent. I'll never get back. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro. And, they, and and I bought, I bought a physical copy, and then they didn't even have a Last fucking disc in there. They gave me a Gen fucking code. Buy a game. That's all I know. Wait, you bought I mean, you a could... physical copy, and they just gave you a code? Yeah, it's like a piece of paper with a code on it. It wasn't even a disc. I'm like, all right, Bungie. Like, you that, that's, that's, I'm not even going to say that's funny. That's grimy as hell. Um, like, all right. So, Stalker 2. Is, is, uh, now, Aaron called this when we were watching it live. I don't know what Stalker is. He said it's like Metro, but like harder. Those um, are mad fun. Yeah, I Metro guess it's a big OG deal. I've, I've never, yeah, I've never heard of it before, so. Stalker is very OG. It's a very difficult game. I love that game. It's about like post apocalypse survival and like uh, around the prep yacht. Oh, yeah, I thought it was Metro at first. Um, a Russian. Yeah, apparently. Tone. Yeah, apparently this is a big deal because. Uh, yeah, Metro is more like underground focus, whereas this is more just like walking around the wasteland on the uh, top. On the surface. Yeah. This looks. Like, Stalker's mad fun. This looks pretty okay. nice. It looks weird. I don't oh, like that. Oh dear. Yeah. They got. They put a. Did they put a release date out? They probably. They got. Did. They got shit in test tubes and. They oh, got twenty twenty one. Ah. Okay. I mean, I'll keep an eye on it. I don't know if I'll play it, but I might watch a let's play or something. Jeff, did the catch right? But apparently, but apparently, it's a big deal. So I'm just happy for the people that were. Looking, I guess. Jeff. What's up? Did his uh, catch your eye any? I'm going to be completely honest with all of y'all. The rest of the shit on this list does not interest me at all. All right. <laughs> so I going can... like going down the list until you get to probably Crossfire X, I, I, I just don't care for anything that came from the <laughs> conference. I respect it. Because nah, they didn't show any gameplay. I, I, you know I'm that person. I need to see something. I can respect it. Yeah. Cinematic yeah. trailer. I got to see something. So if they, um, they like, especially if they show Outriders again, they better show something. Well, that, that I forgot about that damn game. See? Did y'all go into this <laughs> expecting gameplay? Because I really didn't. Yes, because that's what they promised. They said, yeah, we, I, no, we heard I how y'all promised Halo gameplay, but that's all I felt they promised. No, they said they said. Well, actually, I guess they found another loophole. They said we'll bring you more games because they know they're like, hey, we were, we know how you guys didn't like our first showcase when we, you know, we said gameplay and then we didn't show really much of anything. So this is going to be nothing but games. And then they showed games, but then it's all in-engine footage shit, like, and CG trailers. Yeah, I think this is more just, like, a ploy to get people to buy more Xbox uh, Series Xs because now they know it's coming. Eventually, yeah, well, at least. Yeah, well, they fucked up because I'm not buying one. 
Yeah, that's my that's my mindset, Mario. I gotta nowadays. I I gotta see some gameplay, even if they don't announce it. They saying, "Oh, we are gonna show gameplay." No, I need to see. Some that's, why Sony, that's why Sony. That's why Sony's just better. Saying, like, I, only... I can't think of any conferences that do show gameplay anymore. <laughs> Other than I, Sony. I, yeah, because that's what I'm saying. Sony had a better show because even though they showed games, they actually had gameplay to go with it. They had a whole three minute demo on Ratchet and Clank. I'm just saying, I don't see an Xbox or Sony in any more favorable light over the other. I think I think they're both just doing the same thing they always do. I can respect it. I am. Perhaps. Um, but the difference is Sony got games. Microsoft does. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Warhammer. Care about it? Nope. Nope. All right. Tetris. Oh, I, uh, I, what's the name? Uh, Wolf busted a nut over Tetris, but that's about I, it. That's, that's I, Wolf. I, that ain't nothing surprising, is, really. I, I'm happy for him, but you know, oh, man. I don't play Tetris. Uh, the Gunk. That's the game I was talking about earlier. Uh, it's like Mario Sunshine, but like, first of all, it's got a black protagonist. So that that's cool. Respect. Uh, Respect. And yeah, it plays like Mario Sunshine. If you uh, are familiar with that. I have it's not played Mario Sunshine. So it's all right. What like okay. how does what is how does it play? It's it? like um you have this uh if I like I'm just gonna keep it specifically for this game. So I guess like you're traversing like an alien world, and you have this device that like break like this. I would guess this planet you're on has like a bunch of literal. I guess it's just called gunk. Like this weird alien like goopy shit all over the place. <laughs> and you have and you have this device that like cleans it up, and you have to like use it in creative nice. ways to like get around and stuff. So. It's a, it's a, it might it's like, like a, a neat little puzzle platformer. This looks nice. Yeah, like you suck the up all the The game all looks so clean. So nasty. So I'll give this I'll give this a run. This looks interesting. This looks nice. But watch this be a multi-plat, bro. I wouldn't be surprised one bit. I honestly, I would hope I'll it's give, a multi-plat. I, well, I, I will actually. Technically, it is because it's on P. It's gonna be on PC too. So I was like, "All right, well, you got me sold there." And oh, by the way, they did say every game that they showed um, is gonna be available on Xbox Game Pass or I think console and PC. So. Say less, say less. Which um, brings me to the ultimate. Well, I don't know if we can bring. What's up, everybody? It's Capacho's Room Podcast, Episode Fifty Eight, the continuation of. The originally Thursday night podcast. Um, your boy Take Power went out. Time. Yeah. So we back at it. We're going to jump right back into it. Um, so usual suspects are still here. Hey, say hi, everybody. Hi. Yeah, we're, we're hi, still everybody. here. Yep. Chef, Chef, you here? Of course. Hey. Yes, sir. All right. So the medium. Um, I I did not watch the trailer yet. I'm not gonna lie. You couldn't your power went out. You're right. Um, <laughs> so who has seen the trailer? Palette. I did. I, I saw it live. Okay. I okay, did not what, see the trailer. And if I did, I I'm just not associating it with a memory. I don't know. This mm. was uh, one of the few dubs I gave uh, Xbox's conference yesterday because even though I may not play this game myself, I may just do a let's watch a let's play. The concept is interesting because. Um, they're doing this thing with dual reality, they call it. So, like, you're going to be, as you're playing the game, you're, you're like, experiencing the same port, like, the oh, same wait. level of I a game in two different yeah. dimensions. I did at what? the same time. Yeah, so, like, you're going, like, say you're, like, going through, like, an empty house, but, like, you're going through the same house uh, in two different dimensions at the same time. How does that it's work? Pro- it's, it's processing two worlds at once, but you're only yeah. being shown one at one time. Right. And you can I switch think they'll, they'll show it in here. Like you'll show, like you'll see how it looks in gameplay. Yeah, wise. sometimes it's side by side. Sometimes you switch in and out. Yeah. Um, it very looks sick. interesting concept for horror, for sure. Yeah, I liked it. I, I like it's, it's the same same exact situation though. I wouldn't play it necessarily, but I'll definitely watch it. Yeah, this just seems like one of those games like you get the same experience if you watch it rather than play it. Yeah, so. especially for what I'm looking for from it. But, um, um, yeah, Chef, it, did you see anything? Interesting concept. Chef, did you do you see anything about this? Did you? Uh... Oh wait, you said. Yeah, what did you no, say? No, la- no, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah no, you're no, right. No, I remember. All right. Um. Oh, I see what they're talking about now. All right. Haven't some other games done that? 
not like this. Not like where it's an actual game. Not like where it, they're doing two things no, at the same yeah, time. That no, looks yeah, nice, though. All right, yeah, I will yeah, say that, that, that looks is, nice. Like, if you get hit by an enemy or take damage in one world, you're going to take it into damage in like the actual world, but yeah. you won't see nothing. That's yeah. a difference. Or, it's actually, actually, two worlds at once. Or, you, or you might see something in one world, but you won't see it on the other part. Yeah, it's two worlds at once at the exact same time. You just won't be able to see both. I was like that that uh, that small mission in uh, Titanfall two. Yeah, I was about to say that sounds like a Titanfall two mission. See, now this is he the kind of thing I'm in talking back about. In reality. Yeah, this is the thing I'm talking about when I'm talking about next gen gaming. Like, like I said, I hate to bring Halo back up, but that didn't look next gen to me. This looks like it's something that's taken full advantage of next gen hardware. capabilities. So, yeah. Yeah. So. Did, oh yeah, they uh, they also they also came out and said they're improving textures. Before a launch, they said, they said slowly over time they're improving textures for medium. Uh no, for Halo Infinite. Oh, oh. shit! I hope so. There was pop ins in that in that gameplay trailer. I hope you. I hope you. I wasn't the only one that saw that. There were pop ins. Yeah, I saw. I covers. saw some stuff jitter. I was like, All right, okay. Uh, that game's <laughs> yeah. gonna be open world. They're definitely gonna be pop in. Yeah, and apparently, um, that wasn't even running on like an actual Xbox Series X. It was running on a PC with comparable specs Jeez, to an Xbox bro. Series X. So I was like, All right, bro. I think I made the right decision writing off Halo personally, but for those who are looking forward to it, I hope you have fun. But yeah, Medium looks good as well. Uh, yeah, like said, this looks this, really this interesting. Is what, this is what I had in mind when they talk about next-gen gaming, something that takes full advantage of the new console's processing power. So, Like I said, I'll be oh, interested to watch a Let's Play. Oh, that is scary. Yeah. Yeah, so it, yeah, two different things going on at the same time in the same place. That that is, yeah, that's fire. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna check that out. I I wouldn't cop no Xbox for it. Is it gonna be on the Game Pass? Uh, yeah, it's gonna be on. I think it's gonna be out on PC outright and Game Pass. Say less. I'm definitely getting it then. Yeah. All right, but yeah. All right. Um. Looks decent. So next, we got Fable. Now, I'm not. A fan? Well, I won't say I'm not a fan. I just didn't know about Fable until now. Until I just saw the cinematic, like, yesterday. Or the day before yesterday. Um, Right before the power went out. I think that's the last thing we were actually talking about before your power went out. Yeah. Um, Who's played Fable here? Or, like, known about Fable? I think, I think it's just Chef and Mario. Is there... I've known I've known about it. I played only one, and that was so long ago. I can't really remember. I just know that it was fun to play. I but played two and three. With this being a cinematic trailer, I can't say too much. All right. Was um, Fable always quirky like that? Because the trailer was kind of like, kind of like poking fun at itself. Because the like the fairy yeah. got ate by the frog and shit. So it's yeah, always um, kind of had like that sense of humor. To explain it, like Fable Two is very like steampunky. Okay. So it's like, you know, like kind of like Industrial Revolution type setting where it's like, you know, they, they're making fun of like, you know, orphans and shit and like, <laughs> like Damn. black, black lung God. stuff, like, you know, like big issues back then. Cause you know, or yeah. like kids working and losing fingers and shit. Yeah. But they, yeah, Damn, they, they, poke, they, got po- got. <laughs> they poke issues with, like real, like real, like bad shit, like in a fun way. Okay. It's usually cool. not too grim, but it's usually like real world issues. And then Wait, Fable is 3, it set? Like, is it set in the Industrial Revolution, or is this like something similar? No, that looks that looks more like a setting. That looks more like a setting like Fable Three, where it's more like just like a random like fantasy world, like kind of kingdom. Okay. Yeah, cause I had already see I had always seen Fable around, but I didn't have an Xbox growing up um, until late. Like I got a 360 until I hadn't got into college, so I never played Fable. Fable is amazing. It's like it's pure fantasy. It's just you make your character whatever you want, and the more you use like a type of weapon, the more it augments, so it'll get stronger the more you use it. So it literally does adapt to your play style. So like for, cool. for instance, like um, you start out with like a pistol, but if you like you like to engage at a longer range, you'll get a rifle. And the more you use that rifle, the more attachments will grow on that rifle, and it'll augment like naturally into like maybe like a blunderbuss or something like that. Based on like the play style or. Yeah, like the more you use that... it, the more... And, and okay, the that's kind of cool. You don't, find, you don't find attachments in like in the world; it just like evolves on its own. The, yeah, the way they did in Fable 2 and 3, yeah. Huh, that's interesting. That sounds really interesting. Yo, if Cyberpunk's yeah, so like, had something like that, that would be kind of cool. Yeah, so like if you want to like if you use more like melee for like crowd control versus like single combat, single target damage, you get like a glaive or like a, a wide blade. That's cool. 
Yeah, it's nice. Are any of the fables on Game Pass? I don't know. I thought I, I saw one on there. Might have to look remember. into that. Cause that that's a that's a that sounds like a fun mechanic. Yeah, Fable Three have... definitely good, but Fable Two is definitely the best one that they've made. Okay. And well, you can that, buy your own original house. X, Is that original Xbox or 360? That's 360. Hmm. And you can buy your own house. You can start a family. You can marry someone. You can have a child. You can ha you can start you can own bu uh, buildings. You can have them pay rent. You can buy businesses. What? Yeah, <laughs> it's sick. It's awesome. It's yeah, like it's three games in one. <laughs> it's a great. That's what I'm saying. Fable is. Is massive. this going to be awesome. on uh, Game Pass? This will be eventually, because that's at least that's what they said. They said everything you see here will be on Xbox Game Pass. Yep. I so guess that's another lied. cop. Okay, Xbox getting my attention now. All right. Uh, just for a couple games. Just uh, for, and for they all some come slight. PC event. They all come into PC. Yeah. So I guess um, because I think that's the last thing they showed. Uh, and I think, that was the I last, very last thing. Yeah, and I don't know if we already did like a round table of like final thoughts of the conference, but uh, if we didn't, um, I guess. Oh, yeah, no, we did because I gave them a C, a C minus. Yeah. To me, like the whole point of this conference was to convince people to buy an Xbox over a PlayStation Five or, dare I say, a PC. And if that was the objective. They kind of didn't accomplish that because I, I don't really in the back of my mind. Part. I mean, no, I, I'm just saying for like for people that may not be maybe intimidated by PC for whatever reason, they just want to stick to console. Uh, true, like true. what's like they didn't really show anything that really to me they didn't really show much to make me want to buy an Xbox over a PS5. So, but I, I put you know for the rest of us like we know that everything else is coming to PC and it's like all right that's cool then. We, but even then, it's like, why? Why would I even need to buy buy like a separate console when everything that you just showed me is going to be on the PC I have sitting next to me right now? So, so from that point, from that perspective, I don't think it was a great conference, but it was definitely better than the last thing they showed. So, I I kind of feel the same way. I can respect them for it, though. They they have some things that I do like, so I won't say it's a complete. Failure or like it's a little it's not bit a better. Failure, no. I feel like it's a. I feel like they took initiative a little bit more with how they did this conference, but still. The other thing too is how many of these games are gonna. Well, obviously, like Fable and um, what's the name? I think I don't like basically what. How many of these games are going to be available at launch? We know Halo is going to be there, but what else? Because I don't think anything had a release date on it. Yeah. So. You're right. Makes me. Because I have not. I do. don't remember any re seeing re any release dates for anything. I think they may have teased a. Re I think they put out a release window for the medium a couple months ago, but I don't remember for sure. I might be mistaken, but yeah, like outside of Halo. What else did they show? Like um, that that uh, Everwild game is that a launch title? Uh, what's the name? Um, what else did they show? State of Decay three is that a launch title? Like, or is this going to be stuff that's going to be there eventually? So, still a lot of questions from Xbox, but overall, like I said, a better show than they had a couple months ago. Yeah. So, Xbox, you still need to do a couple things. Still got some work to do, but overall, he, it was it was better than what you last did. So there's an improvement there at least. Um, Chef, did you have any words for the uh, Xbox conference? Nah, to me they failed. I respect that's, it. That's that's big F. So big F. Damn. Mario, what do you think? Nah, I should. I I just see it differently than everyone else. So I mean, go I, ahead, say your piece, bro. Nah, I don't, I don't really see it as a competition, but. It's just more like a game showcase. It's just showing people, hey, if you want this, this is what you'll get. I think the competing died when they, uh, I think the competing all stops when they showcase hardware and they announce the shit that comes out with the launch titles when they initially announce the consoles. So that's that's the other thing. thing. Too. Yeah, that's the other thing too. Um, a lot of the games, a few of the marquee games they showed are multi-plats too. Hellblade is not going to be just on Xbox and or PC. It may be like a timed exclusive, but Hellblade will eventually hit PS5. So. Oh, also, fuck 2K. 
<laughs> oh, we'll get to the, we'll get to them in a minute. We'll get to them in a minute. Those idiots. I hate two K. We want seventy dollars for his game. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um. So moving on into more slightly better news. Um, Bioware, the new Dragon Age game. Now, dang, I low key wish I had Aaron on this podcast now. To talk about well, Dragon Mitch, Age, Mitch, Mitch is a uh, Dragon Age fan, but you know, but you know he be sleep, so I mean, and on his phone, who? You I right? I don't recall. Yeah, you you right? I, I don't recall. Well, who are we talking who? about again? I don't... All right. Um, <laughs> I feel like I'm yeah. in another. <laughs> do, you, do you remember this guy? <laughs> but yeah, so is anyone in, in here excited for the new Dragon inter- Age? I'm in- Yeah, I'm interested. I just think that. It's not going to be good because I. The last one slapped. The last one did, but I'm worried about how much freedom Bioware has because I feel like EA is going to be hovering over them. Because if because Bioware technically they're on thin ice, right? Like if their next project flops, then EA is going to break them up or whatever. Wasn't that the prevalent rumor out there? I I did hear something about that because that was like a couple months ago, right? Something like that. That's kind of been like the belief on the street for a while. Like because of the way Anthem fucked up and the, after how much money they poured into that. Yeah. Um, like this is kind of like Bioware's like last chance to like save themselves as a studio, I guess. At least that's the that's the belief, like I said, on the street. So. Oh, no, that's it, definitely the belief. I didn't think it was going to be that EA broke them up. I just thought it was going to be consumers wasn't going to trust Bioware with another title again. Yeah, especially after Andromeda. It wasn't a bad game, but a lot of people were dissatisfied with it. Um, you know, so I still excited for Dragon Age 4. I'm just concerned, I think. Uh, not necessarily through a fault of their own, but they're like, a, like we just said, all the outside pressures and factors in it. Like, are they going to be able to actually do what they want to do and make the vision for the next Dragon yeah, Age? Yeah, so. I'm kind of concerned now, too, because it's like with the pressure and stress already on devs just in this time and how they're regularly stressed just from publishers and and big companies already like now they have even more pressure of like all right we're gonna be losing jobs if we don't produce some so uh, hopefully they can they can come out strong because it's a it's a beautiful franchise yeah I mean, I've only played Inquisition, and like Mario said, that one is great. I love that game. I gotta finish that game. I've um, seen gameplay for it, but I've never played it until like I think when yeah, Vince. You did. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> oh yeah. Wait, until I played it, like I think I, what was it? Probably like the beginning of this month. I finally played it and sat down for a couple hours. I liked it. It's definitely a different game that I've usually played, so. I don't know it's right now. It's a lot to do. It's a lot to do. It's engaging. Yeah, I think that's kind of the, not what it scared me off the game, but kind of just maybe step back. Like, all right, I can take my time with that game. Yeah, I definitely because I think I have like 60 hours on it, and I'm probably not as far as I probably should be because I just took a lot of time just exploring the worlds mm-hmm. and stuff, and just just making like and crafting. I really like the crafting system, like different armors and weapons and stuff. Um, and I would imagine that Dragon Age 4 will have a lot more of that, or a lot of the same, if not more. Uh, but yeah, just hopefully, you know, Bioware is able to produce under the pressure. So yeah. So Godspeed but to Bioware. Good to know it's still still out there though. Yeah. yeah damn. Um. What's the What's the release window I, I saw in that article? Like, not, <laughs> they're speculating April twenty twenty two. Like, like scroll down a little bit. Yeah. What's yeah. Dragon Age. April twenty twenty two. Yeah, speculated release. Until yeah, after April uh, 2022. Yeah. I don't I don't remember if it was EA Access or if it was like some other showcase that showed Unreal Engine 4 or if it was the Frostbite Engine, but uh they showed the elves from Dragon Age and that and they look fucking incredible. Oh yeah, the Unreal Engine 5 uh what you call it? Yeah. Yeah, no, no. yeah, they showed the elves. Though, that was Dragon Age. Okay. So I'm I'm assuming that that game's going to be huge, so they're probably going to take their time with that. That's probably why it's so far away. And that's fine. But like yeah. A, yeah. Uh, all that just again just to make sure that they're able to produce the game that they want and not be caving to all the outside noise whether it be from ea or consumers or what so yeah i personally i personally don't have any worries with this one because 
when Bioware ever, ever makes any game that's an RPG and it's single player, it always slaps. So, and the only games yeah. that they ever made that were like kind of iffy were Star Wars: The Old Republic, which is an MMO online, and Anthem, which is an online RPG, which is supposed to be like Destiny, or the Destiny Killer, I guess. But yeah, you know, so how that turned out. Exactly. Speaking of the Old Republic, did you see the tr microtransactions? Because it just went free to play on Steam, right? Did you see yeah. the microtransactions on that fucking game? That shit is yeah. gross. No, it's just like an MMO. Yeah, I know, but like, jeez. <laughs> is is that bad? It's it, oh, it's not like bad. It's not like dead or alive. Like grotesque. Just, okay, I was it's, like, it's, it's, it's just, it's just like, what is it like, forty dollars for like, some costume packs or something like that. Then again, I play BDO. I don't know. How old is the game? It's it's. You said almost, how old is it? Year, it's almost ten years old, isn't it? I think it's more than ten years old. Oh, they bugging me. <laughs> so, it's I just thought that was interesting. Yeah. But yeah, um, we'll be praying for a Dragon Age Four. Yeah, Mario or Chef, did you guys have anything to say about Dragon Age? Nah, not me. Nah. I, I was just talking about it, but... <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, did you have anything else to say? Because we were talking thoughts? for a minute, yeah. Uh, nah, just looking forward to it. I'm not really hyped, hyped for it, though, but I'm looking not forward yet. to it. Alright, I respect that. Um, so, next... Ubisoft's next gen 2020. Shout out Ubisoft. Did you put this? Bro. You put this in here, right, uh, Blitz? Yeah. Thank God. It's literally the next topic. It's power cut out again. Goodbye. Nah, I was reading it. My bad. Um. <laughs> <laughs> we got scared. Everybody was like, <gasps> no, 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 no. My bad. I was reading it. Um. All right. So, day Ubisoft trying to. Trying to grab some attention. You know, nah, they're trying to grab attention. They just nah, like common they, sense. They, 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 like... they, 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 they're riding the ship. They're riding the ship. Yeah. Well, they just they just saying the one the game's coming out this season will be yeah sixty dollars. So they still may increase the price, but the ones coming out now. They're basically saying you don't got to worry about that right now. Yeah. I'll, they, I'll, I'll, like well, them bitches. Because meanwhile, two K is like, yeah, we want seventy dollars for our game. Yeah, <laughs> pay that right. Expose them. Expose Yo, there's them. There's going to be like payment plans in the future for games, and, bro. And, it's and, the worst, crazy. and the saddest I mean, part is, and the saddest part is, people will still pay seventy dollars for. Free. I'll go yes. buy an Xbox 360 and be happy for the next twenty years. We got, we <laughs> have two, we have two uh, perfect examples of why this shit will never change. Bands and tie. They said yesterday. Yep, yeah, they'll pay. They'll pay for it. They, That's what they put the X. Oh, maybe, no. maybe, not so much, maybe, not, maybe not so much tie. I think Bands is the one that said he said as long. And I quote, he said. As long as coons keep buying 2K, I'm gonna buy 2K. I'm like, all right, man. Right. See, this is you're part of the problem. Yeah, but I mean, I mean, do we have to bring up bands as past that, like, like the Blake Griffin trade? Like he thought that was a good first time. Like we don't. I never let him live that one down. Yeah, I was, I was angry that day. I was so, I was so mad. I muted him. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah the sun, bro. That's crazy. <laughs> but yeah, Ubisoft. Yeah. Uh, so Watch Dogs Legion, Assassin's Creed Valhalla. They'll be 60 starting out. Doesn't mean that they're. Uh, Later games won't be 70, but as of right now, don't worry about a price increase from Welcome. Them. Right. And I imagine it'll be a like that for a lot of the launch titles uh, early on, too. Like like I said, I'm not paying $70 for Ratchet & Clank. You wouldn't pay 70 No. I can respect that. <laughs> I wouldn't either. Mainly because I'm not going to get a PS5 out the gate. Most yeah. Likely, but... <laughs> Unless you can get one off the truck. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, hey, you gotta have to attack. Yeah, I don't think you hit attack for that. I don't know who that is. Yeah, I don't either. Right. I'm just, I may have to. Um, you know. but Ubisoft, you know, <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, that's good news. So no price increase as of yet. Um, Far Cry Six then is probably gonna be sixty then. Far Cry Six. Oh uh, shit! I that, forgot I that, that game, that was, game was coming out still. Holy! Bro. I'm, I'm Far Cry Six. I'm hyped for that game. Hey, I'll just... watch that game too, just because of Giancarlo Esposito. I'm hyped for that. Yo, know, that that Spanish trailer was hitting. Are you like it, bro? <laughs> Absolutely. Anything in Latin America, I'm a fan of. I, agree, so I just need them to drop the price on the Green Man Gaming for nah, Valhalla, about ten dollars. It sounds nah, like it's gonna street. be accurate the way he was talking. Yeah. I don't know if yeah. you uh, watched the trailer with like the French, but they translated it. But yeah, it sounds like basically there's gonna be two player characters. Oh yeah. Yeah, it sounds like you're gonna play as the child, the one he was leading around, which is his son. Which is going to uh -huh. be the next guy to take over in power. 
and they're speculating that the other player character is the guy they zoom in on who's like in chain and like in cuffs, like the rebel. Oh okay. oh, okay. They're gonna be like you're fighting opposing factions, you know? Like you're fighting against yourself. That's cool. No way. That's cool. That's not confirmed though. That's just speculation. Yeah. I hope that'd that's... be that'd be a nice touch though. Yeah. I hope that they Facts. actually implement that. But um, I imagine, um, like Chef was saying, for the Green Man Gaming discount, like they usually do like pre-order discounts, uh, like a couple weeks before the games come out. So I'd keep an eye on that. Is there? Oh, that'll be nice. For my own cartel. Y'all think uh, Watch Dogs is going to be 70? No, it's 60. No, no. They said it's not going to be 70. I don't think any game is going to be 70. I don't think no one's paying 70. Not right away. You think it will eventually go to, to 70? I feel Maybe like some day, games... Not, not now. I feel like some yeah, games... Yeah, eventually prices it will. Because I, yeah. uh, I understand that it's more resources for next-gen yeah, shit. I understand that part. Stuff, but yeah. the, the company that decided to trailblaze it Quote unquote yeah. is not it's, doing it at the right time. That, so. that it's, the the prime example. Comp- it's the worst. That is possible not the prime company. example. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they doing it at the worst time the worst too, because don't nobody got. Well, people got money, but you know, no. That's they got, they people got like, money. Hey, yo, people yo, we sitting ain't on them. money. Some we people are them. sitting on money right now. Yeah, a lot of people sit on money. That's why people got money. I'm saying. So, do you expect if everyone else is keep staying at sixty, you think two K is gonna have to drop their price to match that? No, no, they got too much pride up there. No. And they their customer right base, they might their, pus- and go to 80. their customer oh, base, going to pay for it too. <laughs> yeah, they could pay for 2K. The 2K community isn't that stupid, are they? Bruh, yes, yes, they are. they are. Yes, they are. They are. They're gonna buy Trust that me. game. I've been playing since 2K11. I was, I was you saying, the shit on, that I we, we seen, we seen people willing to drop twenty dollars on a Tiger T-shirt. There ain't nothing these boys ain't finna do. Y'all really not going to demand them to drop the price to 60 when everything else that they're going to be playing, even though they may not be as much, everything else they're going to be buying is going to be 60 That's the as only thing they're willing they to make pay a 99, for? A 99 overall sharpshooter that can shoot up over five com- defenders with <laughs> all hands in their face, they're going to buy, they buy the game. That's all they want is some shooters. Where NBA Live at? Oh, <laughs> uh, jeez. <laughs> yeah. Where NBA Live at? I'm Where NFL 2K at, at, bro? It was all look. It was all good until NCAA BC football, was introduced. I'm, I'm telling scared you. for NFL 2K. I don't know what the fuck they're gonna do with that game. <laughs> yeah, it's not. It's gonna be just like NBA. It's gonna be like oh, NBA wait. 2K just with football. That shit gonna be seventy. <laughs> I'm not paying seventy. 2K making my head 2K. hurt. I'm telling you, bro, you're gonna spend two hundred dollars on VC just to move your wide receiver from eighty-eight to eighty-nine. <laughs> Jameis Winston on the cover. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be funny. That means he had a good year. <laughs> yeah. I... Oh man. Isn't uh? They should have Lamar Jackson on the cover. He's on this year's cover. Oh, he is. That's confirmed. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Because yeah. it was like that was like three weeks ago. Okay. I'm not I saw game, some. No. I saw some before. Like it was like speculation that he was going to be the. Um, yeah. Cover. Basically, everybody knew he was going to be. Yeah, everyone is because Patrick Mahomes was on this year's cover, last year's cover. Basically, how you determine and uh, Madden NFL covers is really easy. Whoever's league MVP that year, that's going to be on the Madden cover. Oh, okay. All right. You Pretty much, unless you're like the Patriots, where they had like Tom Brady and Rob Gronkowski back to back years, even though they didn't do nothing. I think. Uh, dang, what was? We're going to talk about him later. All right. Um. <laughs> It brings up so many memories. Freaking Madden. Alright, so next. I'm, I'm not doing it. Thank God. Godfall. And I don't even know. What would. What micro jazz actions would be in cosmetics. Godfall? Just cosmetics. It would just be. Probably. That. That'd, be my first, that'd be my first thought. Cosmetics and, uh. I would assume character classes. And in game currency. To, character. Dang, to you think they would go that far, stuff. Chef? To. To introduce character classes through Michael yeah. Jackson's actions? Don't they, don't they do that for, um... Um... What's that melee game you play from Ubisoft? For oh, Honor? For Honor? Yeah, don't they do that for For Honor? I mean, you can you can grind to... That's more of like a... That's more akin to a fighting game, though. More than like a, uh... You can, uh, grind to that, though. You can, like, grind oh. to get the money in the end game, so it's... I oh, mean, that's true, that's true. You can't do that. Yeah, no, it's true. not... It's not like a yeah. paywall... Yeah, like no, but that's do... one of the things they could do for Godfall. Yeah, like yeah, if they, they had do... different classes. Yeah. yeah, they would do it for like cosmetics and then like for in-game currency. Like, say, like you want to get like a hundred thousand Godfall coins. Like, you can just pay like thirty bucks and just get it. So you can just spend it on in-game stuff. That's one way we do it. That's one way they would do it. But they said, yeah, no, no microtransactions. 
and it's not a game is not a game as a service type game. So that's encouraging. Yeah, that piqued my interest again. So do you think this got... is this is grabbing our guys' attention again? Because I feel like it, everybody it, it was got me to turn, attention. Yeah, it got me to turn my head back around, but mm -hmm. I got to see more gameplay because the last gameplay they showed didn't look all that impressive. Mm. So. Um, so they got me to turn back around, but show me more. So. I, it's just, well, I'm still looking at it, and I'm like, yo, the world is so big and is so empty at the same time. They're not so. doing enough with it. <sighs> but yeah, like you said, the world is like massive, and it looks pretty there would, good. There would like, have to be a lot of lore. It. There would have to be a lot of lore, like in-game lore, that you can, you can go through and like find. <laughs> Yeah. With like different like armor really sets built, and everything, you got a engine. it kind of so? is. He's yes, like walking like, the same. It's not even that. It's like some of the combat looks directly from God of War, and this it is a gear slower than I thought it would be. This is a mean. gearbox game too, which is crazy. Yeah, it looks like yeah. The the combat looks slower than that than I thought it would. They probably got classes that go faster, dual wielding, yeah. but yeah. uh, nah, it, it piqued my interest again. But it's not it's not day one interest. It's it's just. Read the reviews. Frames, see some gameplay. A, yeah, I don't know if it's a video or not. With them frames, Ew. get that right there. Got to worship it. Got to worship it. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, this is definitely. If it is got to war combat, then yeah, I would probably enjoy the combat because got to war's combat is. Oh, yeah. 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 Hopefully, they do introduce more classes because you can you can get really nice with different weapons and different play styles. Oh, they actually they the did I'll let, they did a tiny bit of lore in the article. I think um, the main villain's name is like Macros or something. Yeah. Mm. So I don't know if they showed what like he looked like, but that's the we we have the name of the main antagonist now. So I don't know, Brett. Like I feel like we were hyped for this game for a little bit because we started making shit up as to what the game would be like because they didn't show much yet. Yeah. Like we were talking about like <laughs> we learned our little. lesson though. <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, we were talking about like it's like you going through different mythologies and you have to kill like certain gods and get their powers and shit. Mm -hmm. We started like making up our own game, and then was not that it's like, man, that sucks. <laughs> what a name like God for? Because I wanted some Anubis stuff, bro. I that would Anubis be a fire. Yeah, we might have to make that game though. That would be a fire game. We get more information for this game in Outriders. <laughs> Dang! Why are you, why you are keep you bringing upset, that game Seth? up, and I can't. Because I'm trying to that. see something about that game, yo. That's it looks interesting, storm, right? I don't even know. <laughs> I remember I saw Angry Joe and his crew play it, and it it looked kind of it looked kind of you know boring. But that was just like very early, early footage. But I'm still trying to see something about that game, and they don't want to talk about it. So it's probably a ways off. That's probably what that means. Yeah, people can fly. Yeah, that was a uh, bullet storm. Oh, okay. So they, 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 sh it should be cool, but we never know. Is it coming to stadia too? Yo, chef, man, why did you have to say that? <laughs> why did you have to say that? You know, you didn't have to say that, right? You know, he don't like invoking that name on hey. stream. Come on hey, now. I, I ain't even. I don't want to be associated with that name, bro. They said that it's about to die. <laughs> Good. How, how long? Now, how that? long? Yeah, you, we might need to talk it about that next podcast. Ago, I saw the, the uh, headline. Because we talk about that like, next podcast. They said X Cloud and Game Pass about to dethrone that motherfucker. Oh yeah. We are. We're and talking think, about I the next I know what podcast. About because I think I saw some talking. They were dev talking about saying like they they overpromised and underdelivered like woefully. Mm -hmm. Like now it wasn't mm -hmm. even close. They did it so, so like up front like they. <laughs> We can all tell there was it was too good to be true, and we still yeah. well, people yeah, we'll, still we'll bought that into for next it. Week because yeah, it'd be crazy. Because if yeah. that's the case, and that is it's dying quicker than I thought it would. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was gonna be around for a minute, but nah, it's it's taking the immediate effects. I like it. Burn. That's crazy. Um, but yeah, I need to see some more from Godfall. But yeah, they 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 turned my head around again by saying no microtransactions. So. Yeah, and it's not a live service game, so that's good. Kudos, kudos, kudos to Godfall. Um, Mario, were you have have you said much about Godfall, or have we heard you say much about Godfall? No, I just like I said, it just looks like something I would just cop that out on sale. It doesn't look like something I would just buy outright, but it looks cool. I like the combat. Yeah, it's, it's the combat for me. This that's gonna do it. I feel that. I feel, I feel like if the customization is really nice. I'm gonna be even more 
intrigued. That's really going. that's really what would keep me playing the game. If the customization yeah. is like fire, because you know I'm a customization head. Like the I customization and like then like the, I feel like with Godfall, they need to have a very elaborate armor syst armor weapon system and just playstyle just to keep people in the game. Cause I feel like they need to add more stuff to it. It just it needs to be more stuff happening on the screen. There needs to be some explosions or some. Yeah, I said Ooh. the same thing about Avengers. Like, I really hope that like the customization is really deep, not only elaborate, but like, it actually matters. Like, it's not like you're just gonna be going out and just fighting bullet sponges. But if you have the right gear, you can just like three shot them. Like, I want my gear to matter. Like, I want the and I want the raids and the enemies to be challenging. I want my gear. I really, I want to think about my gear and my loadout before I go on a mission. You know, you know who I did that? To... You know who did that perfectly? Mm. God of War. Mm. <laughs> there you go. You know what I'm saying? Each armor set that you had had a purpose to it. And I it might need to having. play God of War then. Oh, it's worth it. It's worth I'm it. Telling you, bro, if it hits PC, it's, the streets is done. Oh yeah, I'm. I'm nah, that's I, the, that's I feel like price. I, would, I'm I feel like I would want to get price. it on the PS4. I wouldn't want to play it on PC. Oh, you would want to play it on PC, trust. Ah, uh, I don't know. I mean, by all means, get it on PS4 if you want. But yeah, if it does hit PC, that, bruh, the internet would explode. <laughs> Wherever you get it, it's gonna be worth it. Right. Trust. Because if I'm gonna pay sixty dollars for a PC release, yeah, damn me, it's gonna be worth it. Yeah, damn me. <laughs> I can respect <laughs> that. I can respect that. So, all right, um, we can get off. We can get off Godfall for now. Is anybody interested in this soccer game? I don't even like soccer. No, you. I'm not, but I know you was talking about it when the first reveal trailer. I'm came not out. interested anymore. You're not. <laughs> no. <laughs> Honestly, when I but I I will say though, even though I'm not gonna play it, I will say after looking at this gameplay, it should like if they do it right, it would put FIFA on notice. I I don't know if that's blasphemous for me to say, <laughs> Mario. Keep me honest on that, since you're more familiar with FIFA than I oh, am. God, but... Chio, I have no idea what game y'all talking about right now. <laughs> All right, so the game on oh, yeah, screen. We didn't do, we, yeah, we didn't yeah, yeah. So, how how do you even pronounce the name? Captain Subasa. Captain Subasa. All right. Yeah. So, Captain Subasa: uh, Rise of New Champions is a soccer anime adapted into a video game. Now, I have not watched this anime. I have not heard about this anime. I haven't either. Actually, I think I have. I just never watched it because again, I don't. I don't play soccer. Yeah, I probably soccer. I've probably seen it like scrolling past anime, but think Kuroko no Basket, but soccer. I'm sure uh, I'm sure it'll be like a fun like little arcade soccer game, but I don't think it'll ever replace. Yeah, me. I don't I don't know. If... No, I, that's what I'm saying. I'm probably exaggerating. But yeah, I was like, the, like that. FIFA if they is too really realistic were ambitious for that. With it, if they really wanted to get get after it, then it probably could. <laughs> I think I think FIFA I think FIFA is the only real like franchise in the world that can't be taken down because that's just too global. Do you think like, people, that... don't, people don't realize everyone in the world plays FIFA? Ah, oh, that's true. Because soccer is the most popular sport in the world by far. Yeah, oh, yeah, that is the, that, yeah. it's the most global sport actually. Yeah, yeah. so you, you gotta realize FIFA sells units. <laughs> that's why Ultimate Team makes dumb money. Yeah, that was it? But don't you think that's what that's what made me start thinking? Like, don't you think another soccer game that doesn't have that scummy microtransaction bullshit would make people think twice about getting FIFA? Uh, if if the game is good, like if this game is like legitimately good, don't you think people you. would make think twice? I don't really participate in Ultimate Team, and that's like the only play, that's the only place where they have microtransactions, so they don't really affect me. They do need to fix career mode a little bit, but they've been making improvements the past couple years. So honestly, they're on a good track right now. FIFA's doing pretty good. You know what game is not making career uh, mode improvements? <laughs> Madden. God damn. Fucking idiots. Tragic. I'm telling you, bro. If if the franchise mode is really as bare bones as they say it as it seems to be, the Madden fan base is on it is um the state at the end at the edge of a revolt, bro. That's why I think they made that announcement because I think not this one, but the next one after this one is gonna be like their like attempt at a career mode rehaul. Because <laughs> Lord have mercy, like Madden can't put anything on Twitter without them getting their mentions blown up with fix Madden franchise, bro. <laughs> they, they, they keep that on long it's shot. Bad, yo. It's and, so bad. Did they expand long shot again this year? Yep. Yeah, because now you can be like a running back or a wide receiver and shit, right? Yep. Yeah. No, they're And no... even then, like, even then, I don't care. Like, what if I want to be yeah, a defensive the... end? They're focusing want... way too much on that shit. Yeah, they make like, ultimate. they make 10, not not even 10, 100 times more money than 2K does, and yet 
2K has the better career mode. Uh, by far. I would like, love if Matt, if Madden had the had the career mode like uh, 2K's My League, because at least you can make your own team, you can make your own stadium, you can move them anywhere you want without having. Because in Madden, if you want to relocate a team, you have to let their current stadium go to shit, and then you can move them to a different city. I I don't yeah. want to let the stadium go to shit. I want to just get up and move. Yeah, so... or, or or maybe you don't even want to like remove a team. Maybe you just want to add a team. Yeah, add a team or rebranding, like even add a team, yeah, with custom logos and stuff. I would love to rebrand the Detroit Lions, but I can't yeah, do that. Yeah, like update the like, jerseys and shit. Yeah. Yeah, because Loki, our jerseys suck. I want to redesign that. So. Yeah, I would love for Madden to have like a 2K My League type franchise mode, and but by God, I don't know if we're ever gonna get it. But we'll see what happens after this Madden, because like you said, it's probably not gonna happen this year. So did Madden you, 22, it might. Did you come see the recent Madden League? No. It's uh, the game mode, the yard. Is it like NFL Street or something? Or like people are there's... speculating it's NFL Street. Mm. Nah, no, no. I, I don't mean, know if we need that right I, now. I, I only care about franchise mode, to be completely honest with you. So if and, it's and the, the only reason the only reason that makes sense is because the last year's FIFA implemented FIFA Street, so they definitely yeah. could be doing Madden NFL Street. Like like a separate game or like a mode within the Madden. It's a, it's a mode within Madden where you create your own avatar and then you just uh, like team up with your friends or you make your own squad of like CPUs. I'll be the ass. And I think it's five <laughs> on five. You do it, chef. You playing too much, bro. Just fix franchise mode, please. <laughs> they playing too much, bro. They going every other route but the route people want to go. Yeah, that's, that's, I think that's why. I think that before this, they just had like a gross mi miscommunication of what the community wanted. That's why I think they put out that announcement because now they know. And now they've acknowledged. See, now they've shot themselves. Been, no, the they're just being stubborn. It, now, but now they've acknowledged that they know. So now, if they don't do it next year, now there's no one's gonna buy it. You're damn right they won't. I won't. I just want to run stuff in training camp and do free agency and just rookie development. Some people just, just want to manage a football a team. team. <laughs> yeah, I just want to run the team, yo. Oh my God, Madden. Yeah, I guess that. They not the capitalizing. They. Up. Like I, they plan too much. They really, really not really capitalizing, are. bro. It's sad. Four franchise games are the hardest to take down because they they're the ones that have to innovate the least. They can justify it. Yeah. They're gonna say, "Oh, it's basketball. What you want me to do, cuz?" <laughs> yeah. Madden's been getting away for, uh, with it for years. Like they just been doing. They haven't. They've hardly done any like mechanics changes. Yeah. Or, Madden's like, been rock. doing it for almost a decade. I remember I'm like not... from, like Madden 06 to Madden like 14. It was the same game. Yeah. Well, I didn't hear – based on the people that I have read and I talk to that are, like, bigger Madden heads than I am, they said the shit really just didn't start going downhill until, like, 13. As far as, like, gameplay mechanics and really not changing and stuff like that. And I think yeah, yeah, I, don't, yeah, I, don't, I don't know when the ultimate team – I don't know when the first year that was. But, yeah, I think a lot of people say that 13 was, the, the like, the really the start of, like, the downhill. So, interestingly like, enough, that was the first Madden I bought with my own money. That was the Calvin <laughs> cover? Yeah, that was the Calvin Johnson cover, so I hate that he's associated with that game. <laughs> what a oh, great well. receiver. Sad, uh, sad I, I'm times. sorry we I'm sorry we wasted his years, bro. He don't even like the team no more. He don't talk to him. He don't be showing up to team events. Oh yeah, they, they ain't pay him. They ain't pay him his money. Yeah. They didn't pay him and then he like apparently like the team asked him for some of his bonus money back. And then apparently like I don't know, it's like both sides fucked up. So that's why yeah. this relationship's kinda sour, but it, it yeah. just sucks. Maybe, maybe if uh, the Fords ever sell the team, maybe they'll fix that broken bridge. But I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Owner still an eighteen. That's crazy. Never, never would they. But anyway, uh, yeah. R.I.P. Captain Subasa. I thought it had potential to actually be like a decent soccer game, but it doesn't sound like it's gonna catch some heat. So. I mean, at least not I feel like us. people will play it. Yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, it doesn't seem that interesting to me, to be honest. But looking at the it gameplay, it's one of those games that you just put on to relax. Yeah. Yeah. Kinda, I guess. If it doesn't. Yeah. No, I, I know some people that I can like it's, rage. It's one of those games game, you don't have to think too much. I think is what. It is. See, that's why yeah. I think that's why I think it could be a good alternative to FIFA because FIFA stress you the fuck out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah, so. Good luck, though. Yeah. It was yeah, one of the only luck. things that they showed worth a damn at that damn play anime live event that Bandai put on. That fucking wasted time. <sighs> we we wasted forty minutes. Talk about that, bro. Can't believe that shit. Jump Force coming to the Switch like niggas care. All right. <laughs> It wasn't even, it wasn't even performing right. Yeah, it was still 24 and a half frames. It just looked nasty. On, uh, uh, all right, we gonna, yeah, we done. We done with that. <laughs> I, um, I, 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 
Jeez. Cheat. <laughs> no switch. You ain't got no quality of life updates for it yet. I mean, what is you doing? Talk to him, Chef. Let him nah. Know. Let him know, bro. Let him know. <laughs> I'm gonna say that energy from when I scold uh, Google. Respect it. Respect it. They, um, they gotta get that work. I just want Soul Calibur update. Bandai, just don't do nothing. We, else we need. Just give me Setsuka, please. please. I need. I I want to play someone else, please. Although in the, there are rumblings in the Soul Cal community that a patch is coming soon, since uh, the, the the director, the game director, was talking about it on Twitter a little bit. So there's there's rumblings that something might be coming soon. So hopefully, right, hopefully, please. please. Yeah. I'm having fun, but I just want to, yeah, I want to spice it up a little bit, so. Yeah. Um, all right, so next on the menu, we got some recent news for G4. Now, I am new to G4, G4, but no one else? Dang. Oh, I was right. waiting for you to continue. Oh, I, I mean, Bliss, said, Bliss was asking, so I thought, you know, someone was going to answer. I was letting you talk. Oh my bad, my bad. Hey, you the host, bro. I my mean, bad. hey, I mean, he, he, I'm the host, but uh, <laughs> we chilling, bro. We chilling. You can talk. It's, it's not like you so can't talk. Bro. was on G4, right? For a short period of time. Yes, she was. Yes, she was. And my God, she is gorgeous. See, you said Sarah Jean Underwood. Sarah Jean yeah. Underwood. She was on there for a while. Look, Google Sarah Jean Underwood. Don't, not on stream, but. Just look her up, bro. That's one of the few. Yeah. Don't let me stop. All right. Yes, yeah, G4 is coming back. Gonna the, this is gonna be the. This is gonna be that, one of the pictures. Just... <laughs> Underwood. Name don't it doesn't, but like she's. she's like, <laughs> oh, 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 you, oh, oh. Okay. I know who she is. Like, now. Don't call me a racial slur. I know who she is. Now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can't make any promises that she won't, but <laughs> getting there it. might be half It'd the fun. Getting there might be half the fun. That is funny. All right. Um. But Bliss, I mean, do you want to tell the people what G4 yeah, so, was mainly um, yeah, about? I don't, yeah, uh, Chef Mario, I don't know if y'all remember G4. Uh, pretty much the video game channel that was out for a very long time. Um, I don't oh, remember dude. when I started watching it, but it was like in the mid-2000s, mid to late 2000s. Is what can, when it was in his heyday, he oh, had like yeah, Attack of the Show, X-Play. Yeah, yeah. Yep, for sure. He had, X, he had X-Play, Attack of the Show, uh, Blister, Judgment Day. Like it was, it was just, it was basically, yeah, it was like every like adolescent boy's dream. The video game channel, nothing but games, bruh. Cinema Tech, that shit was fire, yo. They'd be showing cutscenes from different video games and shit that you couldn't play, that you couldn't buy because you didn't have any money because you were a kid. <laughs> so, yeah, so, um, yeah, and then they they fell off like towards like, what was it like, almost four or five years ago, maybe even a little bit longer, when they just started getting weird, like. Like the quality of the shows that they did it, like a lot of shows that they used to have fell off. And then the ones that stayed, um, their quality really fell off. Like the host, like the beloved hosts were leaving and shit, and it just didn't hit the same. And then, like, G and then like the channel itself turned into like a variety channel. Like they were showing like cops and fucking cops, and practical jokers. Yeah, it, it got weird, bro. <laughs> what? G4 I think, was I getting think, wild. Yeah, they. I think they were really starting hurting for money, so they just like anything that'll get views in here because we need. G4 was revenue. the first uh, channel I saw Ninja Warrior on. Yep, American that's Ninja where, Warrior. That's where it used to be. Yep. That shit yep. was wild. That was back in the day when that shit was wild, wild. Yep. Yo, they had they had famous people on there that were famous for beating the course like over and over again. Right. Dang. It would yeah. be some ripped Asian dude. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, this guy's done this three times, and he started doing backflips and shit. <laughs> yep. Yep. So yeah. So yeah. Long story short, they start to they they I guess they were like losing money, and then that's what Mario said shit got weird. And they had like random shows on there, and then eventually they just disappeared because I think they probably just they couldn't just they couldn't keep the lights on no more. You know their game um, guides were good. Yeah. On, uh, oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Um, but apparently 2021 they're making a comeback. So at least X Play is because I think that's the only one that was mentioned. Um, so I'm kind of excited. Uh, yeah, it's good. Because I think um, if they do it right, and I think the technology is there, they can, they can stream now and all that Low kind of key, stuff. Low-key, yeah. So. If they mm. find a way to secure esports, mm. Mm. Yeah, you can put there, – there's your home for Overwatch League and Call of Duty. I'm League saying. That would only make Rainbow sense. Rainbow League, yep. And they really want to be, like, the serious gaming channel. Yep. Because if they – yeah, if they play their cards right and they get some esports that's what people watch there, nowadays. Yeah, people don't your, watch those guys no more. They watch things exactly. like esports. Right. There's your e there's your ESPN for games because you don't have to have it on ESPN Plus. There's your you can have it on G4 potential. if they play their cards right. So it's it's definitely interesting. 
And I would kind of hope that they would bring like back like the OG shows that I was talking about. Like, yeah, Tag of the uh, Show need to come back. That's a staple. Yeah. yeah. With a, wasn't that that was one with Olivia Munn, right? Yep. You think she would come back? I know. <laughs> they could not <laughs> afford Olivia Munn. Oh, uh, probably. <laughs> I just get pay her back, pay her for like one episode. Just come back for the one time. <laughs> reunion, reunion, you know, reunion for the episode, one time, for the one time. time. <laughs> yeah. So she used to be so yo. She was hot. Oh my god. She still is. Oh my I god. Know. <laughs> That's why this nigga Aaron Rodgers is a lunatic. How do you? First of all, you broke up with her to get with Danica Patrick, and now you leaving Danica Patrick. It's crazy, yo. Something must be wrong with him. But that's a different topic. Yeah, she was an X Men and shit. Yeah, she she expensive. <laughs> <laughs> Bad one. Yeah. Hey, let him know, Seth. Let him know. Let him know. <laughs> let him know, bro. Yes, sir. We try not to. We try not to talk about X Men Apocalypse too much, but she was like the only good part. Of the movie. <laughs> I was, literally, she was the only good part of X Men Apocalypse. Was I would. Psylocke. I would have to say, yeah. All right. Um. But yeah. Good luck, G Four. If you if y'all make a comeback and play your cards right, hey, y'all be the ESPN of games. That'd be lit. That would definitely be lit. All right, so yeah, we gonna save the cyberpunk stuff for later. Uh, let's see. So I think that was the end of all the regular topics. Yeah, we got a gamer question. You want <laughs> you want to take it take it from the top, Blitz? Yeah, welcome to the uh, I'm a gamer segment uh, <laughs> where we ask random questions about games and and geek stuff just to just to make up some interesting conversation when uh, there's not really a lot of gaming news to talk about. Um, so this week, uh, this is something that just came to mind a couple days ago. Um, actually, I'll get into the reason why it came up, but let me ask the question. Um, so what's one segment of the internet and or gaming that has kind of become your guilty pleasure, besides the obvious? Now, what do you mean by, like, the obvious? Prawn. Huh? Oh. Prawn. Yeah. <laughs> you chef know what I'm talking about. Oh, okay. All right. It rhymes um, with corn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. I got you. Um, someone want to go first? Yeah, I'll go first. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just like yeah, no, it's I have, you. I, that boy crazy as hell. No, nah, I'll go. No, nah, I'll go first because like I'm fascinated because I discovered this like subculture of the internet like a, a couple weeks ago, and I'm just fascinated by it. It's low key addicting. Oh, the um, VTubers. Yeah, VTubers. Right? <laughs> It's low key addicting. So like for those who don't know what VTubers are, so it's basically like you're basically like um like a regular streamer or whatever, but mm -hmm. the key is you have a anime avatar. Most uh more often than not it's the uh, it's like an anime girl or something like that. And yeah, like a like a girly voice or like a high pitched voice or whatever. You're basically like an anime girl and you stream like like you normally would, but the key is you're like an anime avatar. And the like, I've said this is... before. Listen. <laughs> Nick, and you know, you you already know how like the the sip game works for for uh, female YouTubers and Twitch streamers and whatnot, but the VTubers takes it to a whole new level because I keep saying it and it's ever so true. Niggas is simps, but they are <laughs> weebs first. So if you combine the two, you have an ingenious business model, and it low key works because like some of them like so like most of the like the VTuber I guess um, where it started at least where I started watching it is like most of them are Japanese and they live in Japan and stuff. Hmm. Um, and they just like variety stuff like they play different games they do like different collabs and stuff and like a lot of them are like pretty are like pretty hilarious they're almost like stand up comedians like they like they generally like are pretty entertaining um, but they also have ones in I guess they have some like they have like a whole organization like they have ones in Japan they have them in Indonesia I think there's even like an American division um, like you can just search up put things like Hololive and uh, Nichi Shanji those like the two big like VTuber companies i guess you could call them um where like a lot of the most popular vtubers they're like affiliated with one of those two companies um but yeah, apparently like there's one sort for like in english too um and it's like i said it's low-key like addicting like they, they like i said they like they play games they do variety stuff they're just like they're just vibing but it's, it's addicting because like i said i guess you can just combine the anime aspect of it and you have a genius business model because people donate to it like crazy so that's my I th pleasure i think um bro like the last two streams i've seen of for uh iron mouse bro like she gets so many donations and like gifted subs and, like bro, she, she makes like, breaks down bank, in tears, bro. bro 
She and makes I, I, bank. And I think it's like perfect timing because I think she's really starting to blow up now. Like, yeah. I think she was like low key popular before, but I th- she's really starting to blow up now. It's good for her because she's really talented. Yeah, like, just really watching talented. some of her stuff, she's really talented. She can sing her ass off. It's man. so weird, yo. <laughs> like, it's crazy. And apparently, like. Can I show? Like, can I show it on stream? Yeah, why not? Let me. Um, you got the link. Because I feel uh, like yeah. it, Chef. Chef, have you seen I, this no, before? Yeah, Chef no. watched it. Chef yeah, watched he, it. he showed it to me. Oh, okay, okay. Mario, did have like, you? This, I, I don't like, think this is Mario's what my seen YouTube this feed before. Looks like. It's crazy. It's yo, crazy, she's yo. singing like Whitney Houston, like with passion. Yeah, it's so yeah, weird, singing, bro. Yeah, she was oh, that's a bull claim. No, 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 no. bro, bro, Mario, trust Mario. Mario, you got to trust. To this. She was singing Jennifer Hudson, bro, and she was killing this shit. It was mind-boggling how good she is. Oh, she it's was already wild, she was already bro. singing. Oh, shit. All right. yeah. Go to like the. It starts at the three forty-two mark, I think. Three forty-two. Right. This shit is wild, bro. And it's funny too, cause like. Iron Mouse in particular, like, because a lot of these, like, VTubers, they, they they have, like, really crass and, like, dark and, like, crazy senses of humor and stuff. Mm-hmm. So there's, like, there's a lot of sex jokes and, like, penis jokes and that kind of shit. Um, but then, like... You know, it's late after, late after, uh, demon time hours, you know? Pretty much. Yeah, so, like, in this video in particular, it's, like, she was talking about some weird shit. I don't even want to go into that. Yo, yeah, yeah, we're not even going to bring that shit <laughs> But, like, but, like, like, halfway into the video, it's, like, because, like... Uh, this one in particular, she, she like sings. I can think she used to even be in like an opera or something like that. But like, she starts singing, bruh. Like, I was like, what the it, fuck is going on? My she ears, like, it. my ears really started tingling because it's so weird. Like, it's crazy. You got to find the part where she hits the high note. Oh, God. Like, if you just listen to this Mario, like, she is killing this, like, legitimately killing it. Yeah, she, wow, let, she like, can sing. let me shut sure. up real quick. I don't know about Whitney. <laughs> yeah, maybe not Whitney, but like. Oh, definitely <laughs> not. not definitely not Wendy. Come on now, Probably she's literally not, not her. What? <laughs> but it's like, imagine you just walk into the stream and then you see like this, like. That's, like she's digital, good. Like she's good. Avatar. Like she's legitimately good. Yeah. And like her story is like her backstory is like something out of a movie, bro. That's what I'm saying. It's just like, so like she sings and like she's like hilarious, and apparently she also has this like autoimmune disease. Where she's bedridden a lot of the time, so she gets sick as e- easy, and like her donations be blowing up, right? Like this one time, like there's this one video where she was asking for like a new bed, and um, and le- just gave finished, just gave her the bed. They just yeah, gave yeah, her the yeah, bed. before before I think her donation goal was like two thousand dollars, and like before she could even finish the sentence, the, sh- the goal was already hit. There was like there was like niggas was like new bed done. Is wild, bro. Uh, oh my god, but and there's a whole community of these people. It's low key crazy, and most of them are pretty funny. That is a. I won't. I won't. Um, I won't mention the main one. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Because I'll, I'll, let, gonna, you, I'll, I'll, I'll let you. I'll let you. I'll let you. I'll let you discover that one on your own if anyone goes. You can into cut the, that. The <laughs> no, but Loki. But if I will say, I will say this one thing on, she who shall not be named. Uh, when she's not doing demon time shit, she's actually pretty funny too. She is, I will say, uh, from the videos like, she has like, showed she, me, like, she's she kind of funny. Like, like her wholesome stream, she just be vibing, and she's like, she's like, she's like chill, and she like, and yeah, she's just funny. But then, yeah, when it's demon time, it's demon yeah, time. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> and we'll leave it at that. I'll let y'all, I'll let the chat figure out who I'm talking about. I think that if you, if you know anything about this community, you know who I'm talking about. I'll leave it at that. So she doesn't need any more free pub. So. Yuck! Oh God. So yeah, that's my that's my uh that's my side of the internet that's covering my YouTube feed lately. <laughs> so, um, Jeff, you wanna you wanna go? Uh, no, because I don't have any of those. <laughs> Not even like games Chef, or anything. You don't have Doesn't nothing. Doesn't have to be like internet. No. You just be working, huh? I mean, cause literally my you schedule literally is. You literally just be working, bro. <laughs> it's sad. Like it's really sad. Hey, you just be just working, bro. I work and I come home and play Doken and talk to y'all. <laughs> you just do that and all day, chef. And go to sleep. It is repeat. Hey, chef, you happy, happy, bro? You happy, chef? Yes, I love Doken. All right, I can. All right, all right. Now. As, chef, Doken, bro. chef, as right long now. as you happy, I'm fine. Okay, I just want to <laughs> let you know that as long as you happy, I'm fine. I just want to make sure you know. You, Gotta have some diversity to your palette, bro. Your palette it, of games, your palette of your, your it's, interests. It's just one of those, uh, 
what is this? What do you call it? What is this like a chill period for you? Phase. Uh, I I got you. It got happens you. from time to time, and it's and it's especially because there are no video games to play. Yeah. I mean, there's some games to play. It's just it's it's, it's harder to find. It's bare pickings now. Yeah. It's harder to find the good ones. Yeah. Like you know, because I I was I was thinking about making this a question too, but we can kind of talk maybe a little bit about it more. It's like you find that a lot of people, at least for me, like. I'm not really playing newer games that are coming out. I'm going back and playing old stuff. Yeah. This is a time where, like, everybody's going back and playing, like, those older games that they or never got that to finish. finish. Or stuff that I never got to play. Yeah. But I always heard about. It's weird. Like, it's almost like retro is, like, retro is booming right now. And it's kind of a, it's a good thing, but it's also a bad thing because, like, there's not really a lot of new stuff out there. It makes me wonder about the future of gaming, but that'd be, that could be another topic. Yeah. That that would be a nice topic for maybe next podcast. We can we can save that definitely. Um. All right, so no for chef, Mario, you got any? Uh, what was the question? Like, what's a what's a um a segment of the internet and or gaming that is a guilty pleasure? Like something that you wouldn't readily admit to people, but if they found out, be like, yeah, like I like this. So what? Hmm. I definitely got one of those, but I'm not sure if it's like, I'm not sure if I'm really like too ashamed to admit anything. I mean, you don't have to be ashamed. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's you don't what have to be ashamed. not necessarily ashamed, but it's like, it's not something that you would like advertise. Like, yo, I'm a, like for me, like I wouldn't advertise that I watch VTubers, but if someone found out that I did, I'm like, yeah, I'm I, like, watch yeah I watch it. Yeah. Uh, although some people uh, like to openly admit it, I, I guess I'd say like the Joe Rogan podcast. Yo, that shit is nice, bro. It's nice yeah. to watch. I feel like he be saying, that, uh, he be saying, he be saying some saying. stupid shit, but he, you know. Yeah, that's like he be not nowadays. He be saying some stupid shit. Yeah, so that's, that's why. That's kind of why. I'm more so that. watching for his guests. <laughs> that's, that's why. I'm, that's what I'm saying. I'm distancing myself now. I'm like, I don't know about <laughs> I just, that shit no I more. just watch it for his guests, bro. That's it. I don't mainly, really yeah, care mainly. about what he's saying. The conversations are good too, and when they're yeah. funny, they're funny. But yeah, they're, I've definitely like cried laughing to some of his podcasts before. Is fact, he's funny. Um. For me, I would definitely say uh, street racing, like videos of street racing. That that's my Watched guilty the pleasure. Other day. Yeah, I, yeah. I mean, like, I, I bro, you've I seen all those videos I've yeah. watched, bro. You've yeah. seen all those videos yeah. I've watched. Oh, that's the route you're going. What you mean? Oh, fuck it, rap battles. I've been what? doing that shit way too much. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, internet. that's what I'm saying. Yeah. It could be internet. It could be yeah. No, because I couldn't think of anything for the internet either. Ah. But then he talking about videos. I'm like, oh yeah, I've been watching rap battles a little bit too much. Y'all can attest to that. Yeah, <laughs> literally. <laughs> chef, go ahead, say it. Go ahead, say it, you Chef. Well put, put in the plug right now. Go ahead. What's go ahead, say it. On that day, Chef. Water. Uh, me and Stunkan, <laughs> the Bean, Mitch, oh, the Bean, the Michelin Man himself. We'll be we'll be going head to head. Oh, in a, a I'm streaming round, that. Uh, I'm streaming that, bro. Hey, bro. I gotta Yo, stream that. You can when did y'all start calling him the Bean? Yeah. <laughs> I've been, I think I've been calling honestly, him that for a minute. Cause... Yeah, he has been calling him the Bean. And I called him a Beanlet once when he were, we were doing like a tier list, and he was not paying attention to what I'm saying, so that I yelled at him. So disrespectful, bro. Hey, man. <laughs> I don't even know where that came from, to be honest with you. Oh, I got it from. Uh, I don't know if y'all heard of Four Y'all Entertainment. The yes, yo, yeah. did you used to the, watch the, the videos room? they was doing? They kept saying bean. I was like, yo, yes, bro. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to start calling Mitch that. Bruh. <laughs> did you watch he, their, he um, went. like, did you watch their uh, podcast that they used to have? No, I didn't. I keep forgetting they have a podcast. Bruh, the only podcast is. I literally listen to is the Joe Button podcast. You're, they have, they honestly that. have some nice ones. I, I have to yo, Joe, find the channel. How funny that one was. Joe Button podcast have me dying sometimes. Not a funny as hell. The basketball analogies be killing me. <laughs> they pulling up from half court. <laughs> Don't need to be doing all that, more. <laughs> um, I think I watched one episode of the Joe Button podcast. I don't really watch that many podcasts anymore. Yeah, see, I, like, thing. I got I got hooked to them, and then anybody the else. Joe Button podcast has my favorite personalities. That's that's my favorite like personalities on a podcast. Twitter the Joe Button. Because yeah. they just they like they coexist together. So like funny. I feel that. Um. Yes. Yeah, I think that's that's the only like guilty pleasure. I you guess. You said yeah. So you said street race. Yeah, street, street racing. racing right? Yeah, street racing and like car accident videos. I don't know why. Cause I like seeing stupid car people accident. like just do stupid. Yeah. Shit. 
I mean, it's, it's it's kind of like that aspect of like human nature, where it's like, yeah, it's like a train wreck where you have to. Just, it's like it's that gawker, like that gawker trait. Yeah, it's like I I don't know when like, I watch it, it's like okay. yeah, it's like I hope, hope everybody's, everybody's okay, okay, but like, like damn, damn, y'all got y'all fucked up. Man. Yeah, I'm like you're you were really like not paying attention, like you're really the worst driver. <laughs> And it, hey, honestly, Logan's it's it's. I feel like it's good for me to watch because I feel like you're seeing all these people do different things and like you can see all the stuff people can do just on the road. So it's like, all right, all right I can exactly. I can Most understand more. Yourself. It's, the, it's the other people. That's what you got to be afraid of. Yeah. Other drivers. So yeah. I feel like it, yeah, my, it yeah. heightens my awareness, I guess. That's yeah, why my... I always drive safe. It's not as it's not that I don't trust me. I don't trust other people. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I don't my, trust other yeah. people. I drive safely, well, my, bro. Yeah, when I was in driver's training, my dad put it best. It's like you're not driving for yourself. You're driving for other people because you have to think about all. Always think about who, like everyone's around you. Like exactly. Like right? I don't trust red lights. I only take that shit as a guarantee at all. Nothing. Right. I'm always watching. Yeah. So. I've I seen people go through red lights and just get sideswiped before. Yeah. Absolutely. It, it happened to my brother. And also, street oh. racing, I did see a guy crash in a light pole right in front of my house and run away from the car. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. One, of the, one of the most ghetto things I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, they be doing that. It was that. hysterical, bro. How he tried starting the car. Going? He said, shit. And then he ran. <laughs> How fast was like, he going? Oh, he was going about like 40. It was, it was like 40? Like Damn, road. he lose control. Midway, no, it was like midway up the road because like he just started because he made a sharp turn because like I like uh, I, I live like not in the beginning of the road but like towards the middle, so like he must have made that sharp turn and just cut in and just kind of like glided towards this the center of the road and uh, just crashed the light pole. It's, it's a residential area too, so yeah, it's probably like a twenty-five mile. Yeah, hour zone exactly. Yeah, it's oh, not, so it's he, not a road you should be going Why? Why was he doing that? What the? Why are street you racing? Race, why are you That's street you racing do. in the residential area? What? Who does that? What the? Fuck? Yo, that one video you showed me, Kampachi, like people just weaving in and out on the highway. That shit right. is wild, bro. Did, yo. Nah, fuck that. That's how Davey I, I think that's wilding died. in New York. Yeah, one of the, one of the dudes that did that in New York died. Yeah. yeah. They. I, I would. I feel know like. Do, I assume that's late at night too. They do it late at night. They do it during the the butt I crack of dawn, bro. They do it I, any time <laughs> of the day, bro. I wouldn't. I wouldn't know what to do. if I saw that happen to me. If like if I'm on the road and I see that happen, like behind me or in front of me, I you just gotta know. stay calm, bro. You just gotta stay calm. Yeah, I'm. I'm looking for the nearest exit. I tell you that. <laughs> yeah. Like, this, this is what y'all doing. This is what we doing. Yeah, yeah. Somebody gonna blow up but down the road. I. Wow. <laughs> this wild. Cause I feel like when people, the thing is like, yeah, it's it. It is like illegal. It is a a dangerous sport. But when you actually have good drivers and you can trust that driver to be safe even rush. though yeah be safe even though he's making precise turns and turns that usually people wouldn't make he's a good driver so it's it all depends because people be overreacting stabbing a break and everything and just yeah yeah but i will i wouldn't be able to do it yeah, no, fuck I don't man. know. I I I like driving now. I don't know why. I'd be I'd be nervous to go around a track with the most be, like most professional driver ever. I, oh I no! Nah, I would definitely shit. get in that car. I would definitely get in that car. Aren't there like a lot of things that are like beyond the driver's control though? Yes. <laughs> oh yeah. That's, that's the thing. That's the thing. It was just last. You know, like, every you time you go on the one of those races, not. they make you they make you sign a death waiver. Yep, yeah, that's that's at, at that point. If I get that far, and I'm looking at that piece of paper, I'm like, anything I gotta sign a death waiver for, I'm thinking twice. Like, yeah, 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 I'm cool. I'll, I mean, I'll if I'm signing it at that point, it's like, all right, I've I've really like accepted this. <laughs> if I if I'm yeah. going out, this yeah, is I'm going. Saying, it's just it's just personally for me, it's just not worth it. Yeah, yeah, I'd feel the same. But for those that are into that, hey, more power to you. Godspeed. So literally. <laughs> <laughs> um. All right. Yeah, so we got VTubers, we got rap battles, street racing, <laughs> porn. <laughs> I didn't say that. Nah, I, said I haven't been watching that in Me, a minute. Me, porn. No, I'll, put, I'll put that down for mine, porn. Yeah, I, I haven't been watching it. I haven't been watching it, but hey, let's do it. Porn. <laughs> what? I'll start although, today. Although I think the new the new guilty pleasure I might uh, start I might start watching some of those videos like we were watching yesterday with the uh, most expensive houses in the world and shit. Yeah. I might. See, I'd be looking up stupid I... shit like most expensive shower. <laughs> really specific. Cause I take my shower very seriously, bro. I gotta have a nice ass shower, yeah. You know? if, if, if the water pressure ain't right, if there's not enough room, if I'm touching I just, shit, the shower liner. I need the angle to be right. If anything, I need the angle to be right. I need it to First come off, down I, like I, directly on my neck. 
if, if you got a bathroom shower, if bathtub shower, we're already at a loss. We're already yeah, starting off yeah. bad. I think there was a, in the video we saw yesterday, there was a penthouse in, the, in um, New York. Yeah, and was, like you uh, had to had turn a, a corner and it was just a big ass it's tub a, there. I'm like, yo, I'm what like, are you nope, doing? I can't do it. I can't do tubs, bro. It's got to be a standing uh, shower. And it's, just... it's not even like a, it's not even walled in like most like sh showers in the houses with the tub combo. It's like a standalone tub. Just sitting there. Like, yeah, why would you nasty. want? Why would you want all that open space? Like all those open windows. We, bro, we're like, not even gonna talk about that, bro. We're not even gonna talk about. That. I want, I want, I want all my shit to be shut when I'm in the bathroom. You know? <laughs> so, yeah, I'm gonna start watching those videos. VTubers in the most expensive houses in the world. <laughs> That's crazy. What am I gonna do with all that space, bro? Put Absolutely some VTuber nothing. stuff in there. I'm, a, I'm a, Oh, no, there's gonna be a bunch of near and SoCal stuff in there. That's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, if I got that much space, I'm I'm using every. I'm inch gonna of have it. a I'm gonna have a giant portrait of A2 in my grass, bro. God. <laughs> All right. That'd be, that'd be wild. Um. Let's move on to the anime portion of the podcast. So we got an episode three report. We got some more anime to watch tonight. Um, but so far we have God of High School. Now, um, Blitz and Chef. Yo, I feel so proud that I can co include you in that conversation now, Chef. I really take <laughs> yeah, pride in that. What? Oh, just anime. What is anime? Chef. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Please. <laughs> I'm trying to commend you. Why? Oh, no, I appreciate it. Do you? Yes. And I appreciate you, can you trust Chef. us, bro. We put you onto some quality That's entertainment That's what I'm saying, stuff. bro. Oh, bro. Can't listen to like other people in in the Discord like, like beans. Like beans. No, Fire yeah. Force is like up there now. It, like it's up there. Yeah. yeah the new episode dropped today, so that shit is up there. Yeah. So basically, what the three episode report is, um, so like the so the shows we've been watching, got a high school, Fire Force, um, etc. They have at least three episodes out, and usually three episodes is like the most common but like barometer of how to, as to how a show is going. Mm -hmm. So I figured we'd like touch base with these shows we were watching so now that there's three episodes out uh oh. I'm feeling about it. Um Got a High School is the first one on here. I mean, it's cool, but I feel like there's there's not enough going on. Like it, it's it, you know what you know what Got a High School is it's very basic. And it's kind of and it's kind of disappointing to me. I thought it would be I thought it'd be a little deeper than what they've shown. I mean, like that last like what? episode. That last episode, like you remember that last episode when he was gonna fight that dude in the suit, and they hopped it up to like, yo, this is one of the strongest people in the school. He's on the he's on the staff. He's faculty and shit. Yeah, and he just got so deleted. <laughs> and he just took off his glasses and knocked him over. Like, huh? And, and what was it before? Like they gave him like a poison fruit that made him spit up blood. Uh, yeah, he just night, came back. Before. Like I was like, all right, bro. Like, what was the the point of that? <laughs> it was like, why is he so strong? Like, why is he like Goku strength? Like, like nothing can kill this nigga, and we don't know why. Um, the fights are cool. Oh, most definitely. But uh, outside of that, yeah, it's just, yeah, it's just basic so far. Very basic. I. Um, <sighs> Yeah. yeah, I'm kind of the same way. Like, it's the fights are definitely enjoyable. I'll keep watching just for the fights, but like, if we don't get some like development and character development soon, I might drop it. <laughs> mm. So I don't know if I'll drop it. I'll I might keep watching it, but yeah, I'll probably end up watch keep watching it too. But it's like it's gonna it's let's say I'm gonna take points off on the final score when it's all just said and done. Oh yeah. Um. So yeah. Uh. Now this one, uh, Misfit of Demon King Academy, uh, RL put us onto this one. I was pleasantly surprised. It was fire. It was fire. Because honestly, Brett, usually, because like as an avid anime watcher, historically, when I see the word Demon King in an anime, it usually means some, some wild, yeah, some wild, <laughs> stuff. some wild stuff. Yeah, I'm not no, Mario. I'm not kidding. Usually, I'm I don't know what is nearby. It, yeah, I don't know what <laughs> is about that trope with Demon King, but usually it's like hey, a harem or some uh, shit. Shout out High School DXD. Yes, sir. Don't get me started, bro. Yes, sir. <laughs> Don't get me started. Need to get um, a chef on that anime. <laughs> no, 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 no. I would never no. put him onto that, bro. Unless he wanted to, but that's, nah. Uh, that's, but I feel like that would be a change in person. That would be a change in character for Chef if he if he tried to get. Into that's that. the only anime I've watched all the way through to this. That's date. why I'm scared for prison school. I'm telling you, bro. I don't know if he's gonna be able to make it. I I feel like Chef be alright. <laughs> 
goodness. Chef like, gonna be alright. Funny, but it's just like I he gonna know. last. He gonna last because of the humor. The humor makes I, you stay. I certainly hope so because it can get, it can get wild, bro. It can, but you know. Mario, chef, have you seen Prison School? Probably, I don't know if you have. I have not. I have no idea what that is. But that scares me just by the name. It's going. It's <laughs> going. Ah, uh, is. Yeah, they they don't have no uh, connotations of uh. Or a yeah uh, 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 no I'm good no no no, no. If they actually that, no if they have that I'm good it's yeah no nah, like, it's, it's not it's not that it's it's like it's it's joke kind of thing it's like toilet humor yeah it's mis- it's I don't they I don't think they really ever had like a a joke like that that went like that far they have jokes that go far but not a joke about that subject that goes far yeah so I mean <laughs> I think it's 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 toilet humor, but it's it's safe toilet humor if you get. Out. Yeah. I'm. Uh, <laughs> listen, listen, listen. It's over the top. That's all I can. That's the best way I can put it. It's so over the top. Yeah. Like it's slapstick. Like I don't like if you like slapstick humor. Like it has that, but it's like slapstick sexual humor. And it's just that's the best way I can describe it's it. It's just stupid too. <laughs> It is stupid. That's what makes it funny. It's but you have to have. Stupid. I feel like it's an acquired taste. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. I don't, we'll see if Chef is able to make it through. Because <laughs> it it will tell your mouth out. I promise you that. Hopefully, Chef gonna be all right. Um, but yeah, back to Misfit of Demon King Academy. Um, this is a new show that came out. Uh, it has three episodes. I think the, the third episode comes out tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I was pleasantly surprised because like the protagonist in this show is OP as fuck. Nobody, because apparently he's like the reincarnation of like Satan, but nobody. But he was so long ago, nobody believes him. So he's just like, all right, I'm gonna show how y'all how how uh, we used to get down back in the day, and he just be one shot and everything. He this nigga picked up a castle. Yeah, with, with one hand he just palmed, palmed the castle. It. Literally, I'm not kidding when I say it. He palmed a whole building. Yeah. When so, he yeah. did that, I was just like, you know what? All right, that this. Shit was so... I, was... <laughs> I kind of got like turned off from it for a little bit because I was like, all right, like I this about to be it. like, yeah, I was like, it's not gonna be a challenge. I like it when it's a challenge. Like when they get when they lose a couple times, it's like all right, like we gotta actually start getting on our shit. But I think the thing about this appealing to this is like, so apparently, even though he's like the reincarnation of like the Demon King. Mm. Uh, it was so long ago, like, somebody's, like, messing with his, like, legacy and stuff, so, like, no one remembers him, or that's why nobody believes him when he says who he is. So I think that's the challenge, is, like, trying to figure out, like, who was messing, who was talking down on my name, and who's messing with my legacy and shit. Yeah. So, I, feel, like, I feel like it's gonna be, a, like, a loved one. Or, like, someone who, See, like, that's what I thought it was gonna be at first, because I remember seeing it, I remember seeing it when I was scrolling through, but I wrote it off, because, like I said, usually when I see Demon King in a in a anime, there's more tits than anything else, so I was like, ah, this is probably gonna see the harem shit. I'm probably not gonna watch this, yeah. but yeah, like the dude is like he's like literally OP. Um, there are a couple female characters in it, and they have alluded to some like romantic interest possibly, but they haven't gone too far into that yet. It's just basically him figuring out, all right, who's talking down to my name, who's fucking my shit up. I'm gonna show him how we do once I find out who it is. That nigga was talking to like one of the like demon lord councilmen. He's like, hey yo. Yeah, he just pulled up on him. I was <laughs> like, like, oh hey, okay. He's like, hey yo. He just grabbed his head. I was like, "What? Like, what are you yeah, doing, bro?" He's like a freshman in his like high school, and he's like talking to like demon lord candidates and stuff. And he's like, "Hey, yo, don't <laughs> feel, like I am who I am." And then, the, the, then the dude was like, "Damn, he really." I may have lost my memory, but you, I probably feel like you somebody. We'll talk later. <laughs> it's crazy, yo. So yeah, I'm intrigued by that show. So I was pleasantly surprised by that show. Shout out to RLG FX for putting us onto that one. Shout out, shout out, shout out, shout out. Um, No Guns Live season two is uh. Is out now, finally, thank God. Fuego, Fuego, as always. Uh, I can't remember what happened last time. I don't think it was oh, anything fighting, that... What's the name, brother? They're fighting what's her faces brother, right? Um, I'm thinking, I'm thinking... I really can't remember much from the last episode, I'm not gonna lie. <sighs> yeah, it was... Um, His name was Victor. He's uh Mary's brother. Remember how she was looking for him? And then it turns out he's like some psychopath. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I remember now. And, um... And yeah, Juzo pulled. Remember, Juzo was uh, pissed because what's the name the the uh, what's the name the terrorist groups uh, pulled up on him because they wanted some information out of him, and he like two shot the big nigga. Yeah, he was just like, all right, bro, like, come on. <laughs> You're literally so, just piecing him with one arm. Just... Although I do, I do kind of find like his, the power scaling kind of like inconsistent because there'll be times where Juzo's getting pieced up and he's taking a lot of damage, and then there's other times where he's like, no one can touch him, and it's like. Like why he's, not? Like why now and not back then? 
Yeah, I was like, all right, like, that's mad inconsistent. I was like, it's either you really strong or like you just you somewhere in between. So or... Last time he lost an arm and then he fought the big Katerish dude and he literally pieced him up with like a fifty hit combo with one arm. So, uh, but yeah, it, but it's still it's 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 got it's got pedigree at this point because the first season was so good. Yeah. Uh, so we're gonna keep watching that. Has a, um, has a lot to build and, off of. Yep, and then obviously Fire Force, um, the new episode came out today, so I don't know if y'all want to watch that tonight or maybe tomorrow. I can watch it tonight. Uh, Chef old, so he Chef. might be able to go to sleep. You out. Oh, my bad. So is that a yes? Yes. All right. Ah, wow. So we're in for that. Um, and see, see what's happening there, so. It's for Fire Force, Force, right? Yeah. Yeah. Fire Force yeah, I'm definitely two. watching it because they left off. They left. They left off with the cliffhanger. So. Yeah. Yeah. yeah trying to see what Inka is about. Yeah. Yeah, like that, yeah. Yeah. Her powers are. Her powers are dope. Like like a a super OG. But uh, outside of that, um, there's a couple other things that I wanted to watch tonight, Kampachi. But um, Chef, you probably won't be joining for that because this is it's a it's a change of pace type type show. So. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I'll just be there for Fire Force. I yeah, mean, you. So. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I would. Plus, I mean, the I mean the shows uh, that we're watching. Both number one, they're both like rom coms, and then two, they're subbed. So yeah, I don't know if that's gonna hold his attention. So we can but get yeah, him into uh, subs soon. I mean, he's watching Fire Force sub because honestly, now Fire Force the the dub is two weeks behind now. God. Yeah, I'm watching. I'm watching Champ Blue subbed. How's that working? I heard, I, actually, I gotta, I gotta, no, the, the, the dub anime, is really I good. Actually, I can actually pay attention to it. Okay. I, I think I can actually watch the anime now. Hey, so you I, gotta find that sweet spot on the screen where you can see the subtitles and... The you, that's what I'm anime. saying. You literally just look yeah, in between I also, it. <laughs> I found this website that I like a lot, too, that I've been using for anime, so... No, there's plenty of them out there, so... If yeah, there's ever, a ton. Uh... What the... You good? I just found somebody in DOA Extreme Venus Vacation... Uh, AnimeKisa.tv. Shout out to them. His name is uh, his name is Sen. I hope that's not who I think. It is. Oh God! All right. <laughs> it, no, it can't be. He's level fifty-two. It can't. Be. Oh hell no! All right. Um, I just thought that was funny. <laughs> but I was, yeah, I saw that. That's the uh, that's the anime report. Um, I believe that is all we have. Um, now I don't really have any life topics, but I just wanted to ask y'all. You know, checking up on the boys. How how y'all doing again? You know, just how y'all handling the, the quarantine, how y'all handling the change of pace and everything, and just all the BS going on nowadays. Y'all, y'all good? I'm cool. I'm cooling. Honestly, this I... free time has given me a lot of time to go up to the dentist and stuff. That's what I've been doing. Hey, nice, nice. I've been getting my, like, teeth cleanings and shit. I might get veneers, I don't know. Mm. Just for, like, because I drink a lot of oh, coffee. Really? Yeah. Uh... I heard, I heard because like if you like drink a lot of coffee and you don't like your, you don't want your teeth stained too bad, you can get veneers on your front of your teeth. Yeah. I'm, I was yeah. thinking about it, but I'm not too sure yet. Hey man, if it's, if your insurance covers it, I say fuck it. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I got, I got to look at my insurance. Yeah. <clears throat> Definitely something um, to look into though. But yeah, I mean, I've been enjoying life. You know, no big deals. I respect it. I respect yeah, it. I'd say the same. I'm, I'm still cooling, still working at home and stuff. My sister actually got a new job. Well, she, um, she got a, uh, yeah, she got a new job what three months ago, and then she just started a new position like last week. Oh, that's um, nice. And, and she's been able to work remote because apparently this company is like based in New York. So, she, and New York. She got, it, she got it through a hookup through a, 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 one of her friends from, from college. So, um, pretty fortunate to be able to find a job. Uh, hey, shout out to her for networking. Yeah, yes, sir. Sure, so, um, that's why yeah. we network. Yep. So, oh, um, some pretty big news. I'm super excited about. Uh, my last student one of one the last payment on one of my student loans is up next month. Yes, sir. Uh, month. Finish it. Get it out of there. So, kill it. I'm gonna be, sa- I'm gonna be saving me four hundred dollars a month after August. So. Yes, sir. What do you about to be spending? Uh, I'm trying to actually save it a little bit, but. Uh, Oh, you're going to be spending. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, my spending probably it'll my <laughs> spending probably won't change that much. It'll probably just be allocated to different things. Yeah. Um, but I actually do want to save a little bit and do some in, like investing in different things cuz like my mom's been trying to get me on that on that wave like she met this uh financial advisor that she was talking to a few months ago before COVID broke out. Mm-hmm. Um, she gave me his contact info uh, a long time ago. I just haven't done it. 
mainly because like it's like yeah but i still have all this other stuff all these bills though so i'm pretty much all the got my financials like set up and i don't want to mess with it but now that some bills are falling off the books and stuff like my uh I actually got two student loans that are supposed to be falling off my books uh, this year. Uh, one is by Sally Mae, so that's going to be done. And then the the big one that I that I've mentioned is supposed to be done in August. So, um, yeah, as I uh, as I as my financials change, I'll probably uh, give that advisor a call just to just to see what I can see how I can grow my money and stuff. That'd be the smart thing to do. So I'm gonna yeah. try and be smarter with it. So I respect it. I need to be smarter with my money right now as well. But. As you're about to drop 3k on a new Oh, piece. bad. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, young man, gotta enjoy it. Hey, bro, you that's what I'm saying, bro. I gotta enjoy it while I got it, bro. It's for like good reasons, bro. It's for good reasons. I got it, too, bro. It's for good like reasons. Too, bro. It's for good reasons. If you got it, go get it. <laughs> I want it, bro. I need it. I need it, bro. I need it. Yeah. Ain't nothing better than people of color with money, dog. Yes, sir. <laughs> Yes, sir. <laughs> you know, that's Serena Williams, generational black wealth. Her daughter, a team owner at age three. That's some real shit. Even though he's goofball, D, same to go for DJ Khaled, too. His son is set for life. <laughs> that, bro. Yo, facts. He ain't got to do shit, he, bro. He, he really <laughs> don't have to do nothing. He got nothing. that generational wealth. <laughs> he really don't have to do nothing, bro. So, shout, shout out DJ, DJ Khaled. Khaled. He may be a goofball, yeah. but he said he said He set up a son. Yeah, he's a good father. What's his name? What's his name? Assad. 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 I think he had another one, too, though. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Speaking, yep. Speaking yeah. of kids, shout out to Russell Wilson as well. Had another kid today. Him and Sierra. You feel me? Hey, shout hey, out to Russell Wilson. Our, 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 our three. <laughs> so danger. Ho I hope the Seahawks getting some help up there. Because he needs one of, some one of the best bro. puns. And, one of the best puns. <laughs> Twitter dangerous. Oh. Yeah. 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 Russ is a goofball too, but you know he don't be bothering nobody. Yo, so Lamar a big Wilson. goofball. Yeah. <laughs> I don't need to get Lamar on Twitter, son. Yeah, I, yeah really, I keep telling you. Hey, Kipachi, that's your quarterback, Kapachi. Yeah, shut hey, up, Baltimore. Hey. Yeah, he, yeah, he's cooling bro. right now. I'm just saying. Yo, Baltimore, yo, Kapachi, you better hype that team up, son. Y'all got the best football team in a long time. Oh, son. bro. We're, yeah, it's going to be the best football yeah. team in a while. The bro, we're going to be making moves. Y'all might need another receiver, maybe. But we probably that, do. Y'all are set, bro. You better take care of that, that team, yo. Bro, I love, I love I love the close. Baltimore Ravens, sure, bro. Make sure I love Lamar the Baltimore Ravens. Rod, that nigga is from Florida. Make sure he don't fuck up. <laughs> that Floridian then might come out. Cause, Cause, like RL said, he be retweeting some dumb shit. He so, do, yeah, he do, so. and it's hilarious. So, just, um, just hold him close, all right? Yeah, Chef, you you doing good? You chilling, man? It's the same shit. Same Nothing shit. changed for me. Whenever, Wake up, whenever go, everybody to work, come to... home, play dope, yeah. talk to us, go to God bed. damn. The only thing that really changed is just I I, I got to wear a mask around the customers now. Although you had some exciting news happen today, Chef. Tell the people about uh the new uh, living arrangements in your apartment complex. Oh, yeah, it has been quite. Hey. Jesus oh, Christ. Calm down. Hold on. <laughs> Let me get some water inside my, you know what I'm saying? Hey, take your time. Take your time. Take your time. I feel like you about to scream or hydrate, something. Yeah. Hydrate. I'm not about to scream. Don't worry. Don't worry. Right. Inside no, this, is, this, shit. Is, this is exciting. My bum ass neighbors moved out. <sighs> hey. No yes, more sir. kids running around upstairs. It, it was tripping. Toddler. It was no tripping. More toddlers being dropped. You feel me? Exactly. No children. No children. No more children. They was running laps around this motherfucker, bro. No more <laughs> random shit being dropped other than the towel. They was dropping fucking shelves on the ground, hammers on the ground. Everything was being dropped <laughs> on the ground that you can think of. Yeah, damn didn't me. You, didn't you say there was some noise going on like 2 in the morning last night? Yeah, they oh, had boy. three Mexicans here helping them move some shit down the step. <laughs> they fucked up. I'm trying to go to sleep. It's 12 in the morning. Pow! I'm awake. Now I gotta get up and do some shit before I go back to sleep. 2 in the morning. Pow! <laughs> They still up there doing shit, bro. It's like, yo, they lucky. They they lucky. I had it. I had it in my mind. Like, oh, this 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 the last day. I ain't got to worry about it no more. I want to go take the baseball bat to the ceiling. I want to go have you the ceiling down. We go fuck your own ceiling. Oh, I had to do that several times. Yeah, yeah. Remember we're... when he took the broomstick when the kids were making noise? They oh the yeah. To the ceiling. Yeah, they were, they was playing too much, bro. I'm like, nah, nah, nah. Calm that down. But they moved out, so it's all good over here now. You feel me? For the next two weeks at least. I don't know how long it's gonna take for them to fill it back up. Especially during quarantine, but yeah. it's nice to get the peace. You know, hopefully whoever uh, occupies that space next will be a lot more quieter. Probably be a white family. 
Hey, as long as they're quiet, they can be aliens. As long as, you know. Hey, if yeah. it is aliens, goddamn me. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> just man, chef. Give them all the intel? <laughs> oh, definitely. <laughs> just make sure, you know, you know, keep Gen 1 and their family safe, you know. <laughs> just make sure you tell them that, alright? Because they probably are already right. listening already. But you know, you did, you did, we you did channel, you did gateway, so you know. Them. Yeah, yeah. I'm, them. I'm open. I want to learn. Teach me something, please. I'm tired of this, this, uh, this basic. Humans are weird. He, yeah, yeah. So I'm ready to learn something. Exactly, learn something actually, <laughs> actually that uh, that What's make it me... like in space? That's what I'm trying to find out. Is like, so how far, how far are y'all? How far did, how long did it take for y'all to get here, bro? Like, yeah, I was like, what, is what? that is that light year shit? Is that is that for real? Is that real? <laughs> <laughs> We can't even get along with each other, bro. I want to leave them the fuck alone, bro. They can come yeah. and go as they please, but I ain't fucking with them, yo. They can't. Exactly. I'm, I'm, I'm minding my fucking business I'm so my hard. Business, but if they're curious, then I'll, I'll help them out. I'm like, hey, bro, yo, like, what's up, man? I've been keeping I mean, my head now, yo. Someone's like, yo, NASA this and that. There was, like, astronaut. Uh, they said there was aliens and shit. I'm like, cool. <laughs> I'm like, that's yeah. good. I will say, though, if we do if we do find alien life, I'm not worried about them attacking us. I'm worried about us attacking them. Yeah. And we just get we just oh, get for sure. blasted. That's gonna be that's gonna be the first idea on some people's minds. They're gonna be like, "Yo, kill them niggas." Nah, they're gonna be mad. Oh, we ain't get the handshake. Bet. <laughs> they're gonna, they gonna shake these guns at them. Get the guns <laughs> and they legit have lasers, not that not that uh, experimental shit that NASA got. Like yeah. actual lasers, bro. Right? We don't need we don't need real life XCOM. Fuck and that. If it com- and if it comes to that, yep, I'm I'm snitching. Like, yeah, I'm like, yeah, I'm there. switching sides, bro. I'm Hell yeah. I'm joining the aliens. I'm, I'm like, switching I'm sides, bro. I'm like, listen, don't experiment my body and shit, but I'm with y'all. <laughs> I'm, with y- I'm like, listen, just, it just was teach him, me something. Him, him, can him, can her, y'all? Her. I have one thing I do want to ask you. them to do. I'm like, yo, can you unlock my full like potential of my brain, please? Like, right. I would like to use that. I would like to see what that's yeah. like. Because what do we only use, like 10%? 10, 10, 11%. If you can just get that other 89, 90%, bro. Like, I please. Got, I promise I'll be an asset to y'all. Please. <laughs> I will be a problem on the court, bro. Promise me, please. <laughs> just like a... <laughs> I'm thinking. I'm thinking about advancing. I'm thinking about advancing. Like, oh like, nah. I'm, at that point, brain, he'll at be that a point, on the court. I, <laughs> <laughs> nah, right, at that point, in the books. I'm trying to spin the globe a different direction. He trying to. That's at, what I'm saying. at that I'm point, saying. I would have made my own I'm reality. Find, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to find out which god is up there. That's what I'm, I'm trying, trying to, to find run out. Am I? Yo, who made all this? That's what I'm trying to find out. Somebody's right. I ain't trying to Somebody. find nothing out, bro. <laughs> I'm, fucking bitch. If I have the capabilities to, I will try my best. I will try oh, my no. best. I, like, I want to find out a couple things, and then I'm just going to stop. I'm I am like, not, not afraid to walk like, in the dark, bro. I am not like, afraid to walk in the dark. See, I'll, so I'll leave, I'll leave the exploration up to you. Like, I just want to find out a couple things, and then after that, I'm done. Because then I got peace of mind. I don't got to worry about nothing else. Oh, I'll find a couple things, but I feel like with me, I would feel I, I would be finding all the answers that I want so much. It's like, all right, I like what else can I be? What else is I only there want to really? Know a couple things. I only want to know a couple things. That's it. I don't know. And maybe I'm that's stop. maybe that's my sin. I have a, a thirst for knowledge is, like I that. Mean, that's nah, funny thing, I wouldn't even I wouldn't even ask questions. I'd ask them for a favor. Be like, hey, yo, listen. I'm like, yo. My family been struggling. My family been struggling, bro. Like, y'all trying to give me a rob a bank or something? Like, come on, let's go rob some shit, bro. I'm trying to show y'all some shit. Let's go rob the Fed Reserve. The Fed Reserve. I'm trying to build wealth in any way I can. I <laughs> say, if I gotta use an alien, why not? I'm trying to get. Can like you imagine you. how they gonna stop them? <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. That's it. Shout out the aliens, if they Absolutely. exist. If oh, they, they exist. Yeah, they do. I refuse to believe they don't. Something's out there. Whether I like that. Or not. I refuse to believe I feel, they don't. I, I feel like something. I feel like I feel like something's out there, whether it's sentient or not, or advanced or not. I well, yeah, like they're, 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 they've already confirmed bacteria on Mars, so I, I, that yeah. technically counts. Yeah, yeah. There's there is life out there. It's just how, how advanced is it? Yeah. I just, now if the now, if it's, like the, now if it's something like the Reapers out there, then we might have a problem. Yeah, I'm like, that's, yo, that's, that's, just, that's what I'm saying. That's why I don't even want to find just out. Just leave them alone at that. If we just leave them alone at that point, bro. Like, if we find them first and we can tell that they're a threat, I really just hope we just leave them alone, bro. Even if we do no, the find won't. them, we, we, probably, we probably don't even have the means to get to them, let alone communicate with them. Good. Because, they, they, yeah, only they can come to us. With the I'm reapers, saying, there's, there's a reason why we haven't been there, but they've only been here. Because they can get to us. We can't get to them. Mm. Good. I don't want no smoke with Reapers, bro. 
I'm saying, <laughs> y'all trying to I negotiate and shit. I'm I trying to hide. I haven't even played Mass Effect three yet, but I've played enough of Mass Effect to know the Reapers are a problem. So yeah, no, I you, want, no you, smoke. you want you want to play a scary alien game? Play XCOM two. That <laughs> should teach yeah, you all I, you need to know about aliens. Oh, I, know, I know enough about XCOM listening to Aaron play. So <laughs> fuck that game. Yeah, no, I'm good. <laughs> Y'all keep the aliens. I'll fight the terrorists. <laughs> <laughs> respect that. Respect that. Um, all right. I think that's a that's a pretty good note to end it off on. Uh, aliens. Um, <laughs> um, any closing statements from you, good sir Blitz? Uh, yeah, cause her face is still on screen. Go sub to Iron Mouse. She's hilarious and she's still blowing up. Yes. Yes. She's Matter streaming fact, she'll tonight. Probably... I don't. I don't know. If she has like a schedule. And that's her words, not mine. She, I don't got a schedule, but I got a schedule. She said that. She said that. Uh, you know yeah, what? She, I got a schedule. I got a schedule, but I don't got a schedule. Um. So yeah, if she is, I mean, yeah, go next yeah, time. Go she, yeah, just next time she subs or streams, just go go sub, bro, because it's free entertainment, high key. It definitely is. It How world can you go to? Where else can you go? Not pay money to hear somebody sing like that, bro. I don't I'm just know. Saying. Um, and she's Puerto Rican, so she is, like she be breaking into random Spanish sometimes. This shit is hilarious, bro. There's like this and this like little anime like demon chick just like speaking his, just speaking Spanish. Spanish is like what the fuck? Talk about chanclas and coño and shit. It's hilarious, <laughs> bro. I'm telling you, yo. Um, yeah, 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 that's it. Definitely, definitely goes up to her. She need to have like some more highlights on her shit. Um. There's a YouTube channel that uploads her highlights, even if you don't like, because sometimes like I'll just have her streams on in the cut, but I'm not really watching. Mm. And then like the next day, like there's like YouTube channels that like have her, like a lot of her highlights on. So they listening, bro. They listening. Yeah, people people know what people know what they people know what the people want. All right. Um, Chef, any closing words? Hey, I'm approaching my 25th cycle in this life form. Yes, sir. Tomorrow with... I turn 25 on the 25th. You feel me? It hurt. Yeah, yes, what you about to do? Sir. Nothing. I feel that. I feel you. Play Doki. Play Doki. Play Most likely. My mother sent me uh, my gift already, which I was oh, pleasantly What'd surprised you get? to see. What'd you get? If you want to share. Money. Hey, okay. Hey, I was okay. That was the last That's thing perfect. I was expecting to. Perfect. <laughs> hey, That's good. That was good. Are you working yeah, tomorrow? Um, no. I don't work weekends. I'm all about to get... I'm dumb. I keep thinking oh, yeah, today's, today's Thursday, Friday, bro. bro. Today's, today's Friday, Friday oh, bro. Shit. Yeah. So, yep. And I'm ordering pizza because I get a free pizza. There you there go. go. Perfect day set up. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, that's my closing statement, though. Officially. Hey, hey happy uh, happy incoming birthday. Thank you. Fact. Um, <clears throat> dang, Chef, I wish you had told me. I would have I got you something. I would have got you like a, a nice. Get him a game. You got money, right? You about to get a three thousand yeah, dollars PC. Yeah, you right. You right. Oh, don't, <laughs> don't, don't feel too bad. I didn't even. I didn't even tell my coworkers. But we different from the coworkers, no coworkers either, chef. <laughs> we different from your coworkers, chef. What you What you mean? How dare you even compare? <laughs> oh, you don't. Got, I was about to say you don't got Steam. I was about to give you something on Steam. I was about to say I'd get you something on Steam, but I do got Steam. Oh, okay. I still use Steam. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, yeah. Keep an eye on your Steam in on your inbox. Then I might, I might, you know. Yeah, we might. You know, do a little summer shot me for me. I got you. I got you. Um, Mario, good sir. Closing statements for <clears throat> episode fifty-eight. <laughs> in October of the year twenty twenty, the Triforce of LeBron James, <laughs> Anthony Davis, and Costas Antetokounmpo. <laughs> will the Lakers to the first ever COVID NBA championship. <laughs> LeBron, six rings. I need a really hey. big team. They need some really nice things. Believe it. I probably should have watched that game too because Luka Lakers in four. becoming my fucking uh, favorite player. Who, who are they beating in, in four? The Bucks. You said who, Chef? Luka Doncic. Oh, uh, true. Yeah, he's nice. He's nasty. He's, he's that back nasty as fuck. I'm just waiting for the real games to start up again, and then I'll start watching. Cause Don't I know these, 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 scr- these scrimmages. Games. I hear these scrimmages are like, yeah, I mean, they're scrimmages. So they're funny as shit. They're so funny to watch. They might even start playing music during them. They may. They said that. Already. I hope. I thought they were going to. That'd be, do that that'd be sick. That'd be so lit. I thought they were going to do that anyway. They nah, weren't doing that already. 
I think it was something with licensing. Like they gotta they gotta get licenses for like all these. It's songs. the NBA. How do you not have licensing money? Well, no, they can use the arena songs, but like they can't use them. They can only use them during timeouts and stuff because it's NBA code. Because NBA code, you're not allowed to officially play music during a game, but they might change it for COVID. Can't you just play the 2K soundtrack and call it a day? <laughs> Did 2K no. soundtrack? Get that shit out of here. Not, 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 not spawn this... Ronnie in the crowd and then not... shit goes down here. 2K11, yeah. 2K11. <laughs> the 2K10 of the 2K11 soundtrack and just call it there a day. There you go, yeah. But uh, yeah, Lakers in four. Yeah, I want fuck, them to win too. Fuck everybody else. It doesn't matter to me. Like That's how I feel. I just want competition. Like, and Lou will just fucked himself over. He ain't gonna play no more. Shout out to Clippers. They just lost one of their best players. Hell yeah. Yeah, quit, quit having players lead the bubble, bruh. Lou Williams and fucking Austin Rivers. To go party with a white boy who just got famous. What's wrong with you? <laughs> he, hopefully he learned. No, he know. didn't. <laughs> hey, that's a lot of people's sixth man of the year. I hope they're, I hope they're happy and they're proud of him. <laughs> that's the that's the perennial six man of the year every year every every year every season who's the six man of the year Luke Williams all right yo shout out Luca Doncic yeah, they beat nice. the Lakers but yeah that's my closing statement Lakers in four fuck them niggas Lakers in four <laughs> I respect that I respect that <laughs> um <clears throat> my closing statement somebody buy me a car somebody buy me a car please. <laughs> I really appreciate that. I need to go places. I got things to do. Are you, uh, are you, moves are to you make. paying the, the payments to me? Yeah, you better, <laughs> ask, me. You better um, ask some aliens. <laughs> he said bad some aliens. <laughs> I mean, depending Damn, on the bro. car, man, you know, just a, a, alone, you know, I, I got you. Yo, tweet at Elon Musk. Be like, yo, let me get that cyber truck. He might hook I you up. do not want that shit. I do hey, not want that Elon Musk put that shit to the side. He's trying to put inhibitor chips inside of people. Yeah, no, that shit I ain't on board with. He trying to put the music chips inside. Don't be people. listening to him. He just be talking, bro. <laughs> yeah, boy, funny. His cars be nice though. There. His cars do be nice. They do. Yeah. They do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they do. All right, chef. Um, <laughs> bro, that's that that cyber truck bulletproof, cuz. <laughs> Is bulletproof? Not, not yes. Proof. Is it not brick proof? <laughs> I that's think probably it's true. Uh, brick proof, chef. I've okay. Um, you didn't see the showcase? He threw the brick at the window and that shit <laughs> smashed the window <laughs> on first try. It God damn it, did? Uh, hold on. Yes. I might have to it didn't like completely yeah, smash it. It was like... Yeah, no, uh, you, you can crack it, but you can't yeah. break it. Yeah, it didn't like completely break through, but he, still, he threw the brick once and it hit. It did some damage. That's still an insurance claim you got to file if that happens to you. That's that's the whole point. So. Damn. Crazy. That's funny as hell that that would happen. All I'm saying is, if I'm, if I'm getting shot at, and I got the choice to be in a Chevy Cobalt or or a Cyber Truck. <laughs> I'm on the Cyber Truck. <laughs> That's funny. All right. Um, yeah, that is the final iteration of Kim Podcast Podcast episode 58. Glad I can finish this podcast off so we can move on to the next one. It's been your 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 kind host for this late night jazz ride. Right, more episodes and we'll be 69. <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey yes sir all right i'm out i'm hot as hell i'm about to when drink some really water nice yeah it's hot as shit yeah drink yeah that's the close that's my close statement that's my official close statement. drink some drink water, water please drink more water you can always drink more water shout out mcjack exactly. yes sir no one could ever have a problem with you saying drink more water you're unless you're obj <laughs> or yeah. goddamn doja cat Okay. We don't we yeah, don't speak we, her name around here. You're right. My bad. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say that. Gross. I'm gonna stop talking. See you later. It's okay. It's okay. We all make mistakes. <laughs>